<laughs> Gee, why is that? Uh, I don't I know. Something imagine. about the accent. That that particular accent, when it's being uh, exaggerated like that, I, I find that. it a, a little bit, a little bit grating. <laughs> There's a funny bit. thing. Don't wor don't worry. It's just as grating when it's not being exaggerated. <laughs> with with right, Icelandic so pronunciation, everything is emphasized. The first word of each, it's it's every word seems to be you emphasize the very first syllable and then sort of mumble the rest a little bit. It's like that in the Matsu, kind of, but that's more pronunciation thing. It's not like, like emphasis, but it's more like uh, Kopenhagen. So it's like uh, this is like this is a geography now uh, video on um, on a YouTube, like small, small, cute videos. And he said like, okay, so if you don't want to learn how to pronounce Danish things, just like start with the two first syllables and just give up midway. <laughs> so like Kopenhagen, uh, Kopenhagen. Like give up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how you do it. All right. Um, beyond that, uh, are we yes. ready to go? I am ready to go. Yes. I remember yes. I'm ready to go. approximately what I'm supposed to do here. So I'm I just gonna say before we stop talking about this comic, I like how it looks like Denmark is holding a bottle of beer yeah. and Norway is holding a fish. Yes. Yeah. Sweden is yeah. holding that. potato. I, I, I assume these are culturally significant things. The potato is entirely yeah. to make a joke at Denmark's expense. <laughs> yes, it's which, is, which makes Sweden not really a big Swedish thing. Yeah, because making making a uh, making a joke at Denmark's expense is the Swedish thing to do. <laughs> yeah, that's also like, also like um, and a common joke that's for also noted in Scandinavia. The world is like Danes actually like Danes being afraid of terrain, um, because we only have like. Flatlands, yeah. basically. So, oh, um, right, yeah. so when we see a mountain, we just like start screaming. Um, <laughs> or you'll say this is a mountain good. and point at a twenty-five meter hill and name it. A yeah, mountain. exactly. This is a sky mountain, and it's like twenty-five meters. I, like, I was yeah. wondering if you're going know. to comment on my picture from yesterday when I said I'm on the hill and then posted a giant picture down into the valley, and I'm like, yeah, I guess it's 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 almost a mountain, but you can see there's <laughs> trees on it, so. Yeah, that's not a hill in Denmark. That'll be very crazy. That thing. Uh, it's a. It's yeah, a, it's a nice kind of bit. fun fact. You can actually see the road that I live on from here. It's one of those little vertical lines over on the left side that lines up with this mountain. Because it just so happens that my road has a perfect view up onto the mountain when you get onto it. Yeah. Mm. I'd also like to play. I out, bought a double uh, espresso and I put do a double shot americano. I'm so ready for this shit. <laughs> All right, and I have also just finished making the tentacle of protection around Uzbek and Oirat. <laughs> yes. Right. Did, you like, did you like my, uh, my my new interpretation of Tibet on the meme? Yes, uh, I, I also like the uh, the Tibet with the tentacle and Japan. Way over yes. in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that you could make it here to Japan. <laughs> uh, uh. Speaking of uh, of emphasizing things, I don't until, like until you get it properly centered again, you're going to have to say that you know your kingdom is Japan. Japanese. <laughs> 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 I'd like to point out in that comic, even though it was made in 2010, if you look at the last thing, there's a wall mm -hmm. of cornflakes boxes between America and Mexico. <laughs> Uh, I don't see that. Sorry. Yeah, it's on the last thing of that uh, Scandinavian the World comic. I, uh, uh, I don't see it on the thing that you posted. So I have to. No, uh, it's a. Um, you you have to click on it directly because. Oh you know, right, okay, okay. Wait, so it's it's so long. If I gave a direct link, it would end up too small on Discord. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> what on, boss? I think I'm going to just uh, attack Cochin. I think that was my plan. I don't think I have anything else in particular. Oh, yeah, that, I have to colonize Maya. That's it. That's the two things. That finishing off uh, Korea and um, maybe trying to get to oh, Mexico. Oh, my shitty tech. Oh, my God. Maybe mm. trying to get to Mexico before it's entirely enveloped by the Portuguese. Yeah, I I want to um like see Portuguese are because they've already uh, chipped away at the north. I lied with Spain, so it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna fight that. Um, but I'll try to like colonize as much as possible. I guess I'm like I'm I'm running like a 
uh, five colonists from two whip off. So yeah. should uh, not fighting Spain, eh? Well, well, I want you... to, but not quite yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, Spain even have that's one hundred thousand soldiers and like five techs ahead of me, whatever, and uh, uh, and European tech soldiers. So yeah, you know, not uh, not excellent. I'm actually curious what their army or uh, their navy is rather. It is. Force limit of 209, with uh, 32 heavy ships. Oh. And again, they only have 119 boats, but still 32 heavy ships. Yeah, I have, I have 26 boats. That's, uh, that's, that's it. Portugal has 10. I mean, I could yeah. make a predominantly heavy ship navy, and I could always start Should we unpause, by the way? Shipyards. Yeah. Uh, everyone else ready? They've yeah, figured out go. what they were doing last time. Uh, I'll figure uh, out. Let's right, go. Khmer maybe actually trying to take Malacca ever? Um, uh, they're, they're friendly with me at the moment. I'm, uh, I don't see a reason to uh, stir up to kill Hornet's Nest right now. You should check uh, I, uh, the Philippines though soon. I, I honestly forget why you made a tributary straight out of Brunei, especially when uh, they um, super develop their land to where if you take them out in the mid game you get like multiple high quality provinces I, it, mm. there's just something about Brunei's AI where they develop their home region quite a bit I mean their capital is 34 and they have a 25 right next to it it was it was just an, uh, an option I think it came up as a thing I could do and I thought well why not yeah so. I just know you will have to fight Malacca eventually if you want to make anything from your trade. Uh, well, we'll see. I know you like to keep friends, Daft, but we're your friends. Malacca won't be friends with us. We're your friends now. <laughs> Especially since uh, Malacca's allied to Bengal, which I believe another one of your allies wants to fight. Uh, yeah, Alad Vasanai, Bengal, yeah. Well, we'll see. Actually, oh boy, yeah, I just wanted my. Sorry, I was even saying I'm hardly getting any tribute from. Brunei, they're going to give me four military power this whole year, which doesn't seem particularly much. Right, it's some better than nothing, I guess. But yeah, I mean, until you actually want to declare war on them, I'm... I would I'm also sure. yeah. remind you that uh, the Spanish historically want the Philippines, so uh, mm. if the Spanish get close. You, you may have to tackle them before the Spanish do. So close to killing the colony, yeah. What? Meanwhile, oh yeah, yeah, global trade had just started. Yes. And I'm busy getting printing press. <laughs> so, um, there is one thing that I remembered that is iffy. Um,. And may ruin people's economies, but there's this thing called knowledge sharing. Yes. Where someone pays like 10% of their income to get a plus one benefit of uh, an institution that they don't know in their capital region. Okay. Which is possible, you know, if you have the money. I just don't know if Tibet actually makes any money. Ha! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's see if this works. By the way, I had the I did also need to ask, what did you guys think of my idea for the next Stellaris campaign? Looks pretty cool. Although, okay. I think you need to liaise with angst on the uh, kind of realism aspect of it. Um, I mean, I did choose the dwarves to get that war paint going. Yes, I, uh, yeah, no, I appreciate that. That did look pretty cool. 
I just couldn't decide whether I wanted to do s Swedish Sweden into IKEA or Danish into Legos. Mm. So I just decided <laughs> to make the Kalmar instead for both. <laughs> Plus, there isn't really uh, there's really a white color in Stellaris maps or uh, flags. It's just gray. Right, time to uh, annex Udega forever. Probably 50 years at this point. So uh, we'll see. Yep. Okay. Chichu. Chichu. What's that? What's that? Any of these? Okay. okay, I think actually this is the time to do this. Oof. Oh. Yeah, like in Russia, I just need Maya to like build a uh, a fortification. So Russia has to go through the hardest possible path to get stuff. Well, um, I have begun my uh, African conquest. <laughs> Excellent. Making the Congo a tributary state. <laughs> that's that's kind of cursed, yeah. <laughs> Congo tributary state of China. Uh. Fight these guys, you go there. You go there. I will also note it uh, the age of Reformation is ending, which means the age of absolutism is beginning. Uh, which <laughs> means the absolutism mechanic is going to show up soon. So, uh, just a reminder the more. Mm. Privileges you give to your estates, the lower your max absolutism. And the absolutism makes it so coring is cheaper and taking land and map in wars is cheaper. You can very well play without it, but it does make it a lot easier to do. Yeah, I'm debating if I should out. get rid of the uh, privileges that, um, like the one that gives me a religious state for bonus, uh, bonus monarch points. I'm debating if I should revoke that at this point. I mean, that's usually the last ones that I revoke. That's I the only one really... I've given. Oh, then that's only like five absolutism. You're perfectly fine. Well, I'm doing one of those for each, so 15 total. Yeah, your absolutism cap's still going to be like 60 or so. Yeah, so it'll be you'll, high. Have... you'll be able to keep those going until your absolutism cap is starting to. You're starting to hit your absolutism cap. Now me, I've given out max things, so that's the thing I need to pay a little bit more attention to. Alright, I'm going to ask for military access from Tiba. Oh, please give me military access so I can beat up Orap. Okay. So you two just go there, go to Orat, stitch it down. Congo is a pirate haven. Well, that didn't last very long. 
Them liking me didn't last very long. May have to uh, step in and shatter their nation a little bit. Purely di diplomatic reasons, of course. Much so, just to all right, have like one thousand, right? Yeah, it's fine. This, this. So, um, would it help our cause if I tried to block European colonization in the uh, sort of Indonesian region? There's, there's a few yes. islands left. Yeah, yeah, definitely grab um, as much. Oh. Like, the Indonesian region is incredibly good. If you can control that, that's awesome. Plus, you can feed that into the, the Malacca node, and you're going to want to have Malacca as your main collection node. On the topic. Mm -hmm. Um... I was planning to eventually colonize Christmas Island simply because that's in the next area and that serves it next, uh... Oh, uh, I just started planting a colony on Christmas Island because that's I why thought I Spain... To... I thought Spain would be going for it, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm getting yeah. the ports over here, and then, uh, I can... That'll probably uh... be my next... Port. Okay, okay Homer, right? well, I, I can stop colonizing it, but maybe should I go for, like... One of the other islands off. Personally, uh, personally, for you, I'd say something that is more important, like filling out your current islands. Well, I'm worried about. So, if you see where um, Malacca is and the, the islands off the coast, that those islands are actually fine. As really? Weird as it is, those islands. Uh, well, hang on. Yeah, these islands were always a little bit weird. The islands off the coast of Balaka are fine. The island to the north, the Andamans, for some reason, mm -hmm. is in the uh, Indian Ocean Islands, much like Christmas Island. So so I guess my question is, if you don't want me to colonize Christmas Island, where should I be putting my colonists to block the European expansion? Because I'm trying to help the team in. I would say trying to colonize near your current stuff, like Sulawesi, yeah. or... So Spain okay, has so. Like Indian Ocean, and is an old, old, old... I don't know about Christmas Island, but they do have... They, they can reach stuff now, so I would just like focus yeah. on consolidating what I what, it, what I have. If they if they wanted to colonize okay, well, over here, because they already have Diego Garcia, they could colonize wherever they wanted over here. Okay. So, I, I'm going to get those small ports and try and... Get the ports they have in the Indian Ocean, uh, probably within the next 50 years or so. I just need to save my money to embrace before I start building a bunch of shipyards to uh, help that. Okay, well just don't complain at me when Spain ro rocks up to Christmas Island or wherever. Well, I have a... I have the island next to it, so I could fabricate a claim on it anyway. Okay. Yeah, definitely you consolidating your uh, other stuff. Or even colonizing next to Tondo to get to them, colonizing next to Turnite and Tidor. Just, just something that uh, will help you get stronger.
Alright, I'm about to embrace the next institution. I am waiting for trade, global trade, to spread to enough of my lands to see how expensive it is. Okay, it's gonna almost, almost be Maya now. Please hurry up. Well, okay, now my Lhasa. So I've finally bridged development all the way into Lhasa by developing Ying Chi a little bit. So now I'm going to be able to, uh, yeah, sometime in 1610. Lhasa's development is going to be ready. Oh, I could hit 60 development, though. Hmm. Maybe I should uh, wait until I have a university before I do that. Personally, I want to see Lhasa get another 10 development on what it has. Oh yeah, me too. I, I want to see it get absurd levels of development. I think 10 more points would be pretty nice. Heh. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, we have creative jokes here. <laughs> mm, yeah. Wait, do we? What's the policy? Filthy Mongorians rebelling. Mongorians? Burning down his shitty wall. It's been a few months. Yes, next. Okay, I need a name. Okay, what was the name? Okay. English, Japanese. Uh, California. California. Oh, yeah. Knows how to party. Since I see one of your columns Just there, not. I also remembered that Kim Cambodia and Australia was going to be a thing. Yeah. Cambodia knows how to party. Bom, bom. How the four rune as that uh, that that's not good. Okay. What if we do go for just America? America the copyright. You say? America? Yeah, so so. Um uh, Iggy, what did you say? You said, said something uh Beiko like name of B E I K O K U. Okay. B E I K O K U. Right. There's actually a funny, funny reason for that, um, which is literally that um, Japanese took the Chinese figures for the name and then transliterated those figures into Japanese. So mm. the Chinese word for it is Meiguo, which is the beautiful country. And mm. then Japanese took the Chinese figures and said, well, in Japanese, we read this is Beikoku. So its name is Beikoku, which means the land of rice. Which doesn't make sense for America, but yeah. I'm just literally taking these figures look like this, so we're gonna call it that. So I just need you, Alaska. Arasuka. 
What is I this? Auto heard, auto? I think I've heard that name. They're a uh, weapons company. In a video game. Uh, Anti-Christian edicts. That sounds good. Did anyone else play Cyberpunk or was it just me? Um, I didn't play Cyberpunk, but it does look like it would be more interesting to play now than it would have been a couple of years, like a couple of months ago. Is it, has it been a year now? Been over a year, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It seems like. Oh, hello. It's all a blur. Uh, naval supplies. That's good for ships. Um, is, should I raise manpower over? Like, what do you think? Uh, that's gonna get increased production in the next hundred years or so. So I would say that's production. Production. Okay. Alright, the new the institution. Really wanna... The only thing you really want to raise manpower in is uh, grain and cattle. And the printing press is now present in Tibet. Now all you yep. need to do is grow global trade. Well, yeah. I mean, if you want... Uh, I'm trying to accrue the relations with Russia ever so slightly. Oh, I don't have it yet. Once I get it, I can offer you it. Because I'm. Oh wait, hang on. Aren't I a great power right now? Uh, no. It um. Will. It's yes. It's different than that. You can offer knowledge sharing to anyone. Ah. As long as you know you have the institution. I entirely forget about that for the longest time until the AI offered it to me in my single player game is Japan. Ah. You want me to give it to you? Oh, just Yang. Okay. Oh, you just got it, right? So it doesn't well, matter. I just got the printing press, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think that's the one before. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, global trade yeah. is also slowly trickling out here. I'm slowly getting global trade. I'm probably going to get it within the next five or less years. Depends on how much money I want to spend on it. I guess, honestly, I can literally just sit here because I cannot go to war while my uh, mandate is garbage. And it only goes up 5.12 a year. And they do have ideas I can do for all three for a while. I like how all of my neighbors are quite upset with me for my overextension right now. I am now starting to uh, to remove the many, many estate stuff that I have. To get uh, prepared for the absolute. I definitely this one. So if you noticed, I took Yehe and the other stuff. I would have seeded it to Udege, but I wanted to have one less um, step hoard as the neighbor. So, yeah, most like that. The step hordes do not make good. Damn it! Okay, Russia is now rivals with me, of course. Well, so um, yeah, well, like I rivaled them, so I don't know what I was expecting. But yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say it's like you you definitely uh, afflicted yourself with that. Yeah, it's fine. Probably, however, this definitely gonna wipe, get wiped, I think. Do you think the Zealots is rising up in a colony? No, it's not a colony. Oh god. That's what happened. Okay. Well. Please don't wipe, guys. You can do it. Hmm. If oh, I could port come up with Portuguese ships. Portuguese ships. They got wiped. Okay. I, they are probably exploring. Oh, actually, they are here. They have colonized Yamenda. What's really Yamenda? Quickly, which is off the coast of Timor. Uh, yeah. I don't see it. It's like a, it's a tiny it's individual it. island. Oh, there. Yes. Age of absolutism, baby. All right, you can look at your government tab to see your maximum absolutism. Four nine, that's not good enough. Okay, own at least five universities. I can do that. 
Once I have a few more attacks. I was going to say, yeah. University is Tech 17. Yeah, no, I guess that's. There yet. I guess that's actually the the current tech. Just... Well, right now I'm I'm behind uh, behind in uh, admin. Yeah, I just forgot it was that quickly. Now the question is: Do I sit here to let global trade spread to more locations, or do I spend almost five thousand dollars embracing it? Huh? What? Oh. What? They... Uh... 22 of May. Okay, that's okay. Jesus Christ. I just relocated to Kamikawa all of a sudden. That's extremely annoying. Uh, if anyone needs me to help them fight in the war, by the way, uh, I've got maxed up manpower right now, but I can't really expand anywhere due to my overextension. Uh, due to my aggressive expansion, I should say. I would moment. probably say that would be the Kramer who would do anything yeah, well, with anyone. If the Khmer are planning on fighting anyone, I need to build um, up a little transport fleet. Not the moment, because I expanded quite a lot last session, if I remember correctly, so I thought I'd be a bit chill for a while. Uh, no one really cares about you, actually. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take a look at your overextension, but it looks like you're actually pretty chill. Yeah, the only country that is upset at you is Ayutthaya and... Tondo and Majapahit. Everyone else doesn't care. Although, besides fighting Ayutthaya and Malacca, I don't think there's many uh, land-based nations left for Khmer to fight. I think Portugal started to chimichurera. Yeah, they're starting to attack the last takes. I'm not going to make that, and I'm not sure I want to consist them. Um, uh, I mean, they're attacking the Incans right now, but they have uh, already eaten northern Mexico. Yeah. Just but they yeah. haven't gotten to yeah. the gold mines yet, most of them. I guess so. It's just like... Oh my god, that's a crazy amount. I had no idea. Okay. Yeah, how many gold mines there are over there? Yeah, that's insane, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's even better if you get to the Incan ones, too. There's another six over there in Inca. Oops, okay, uh, just a moment. I need to customize my subject. Yep. Because Japanese Alaska will not go. I think, like, what about gold land? That is Guru Udo for Yeah, that, that one works pretty well. Because there are... A single, there's a single gold mine there. So, I use it, land of gold, land of gold. Kin no koku. Uh, here's another thought that you could call it is, uh, you could name it after the people who you met there, which are the uh, yeah. uh, Aleuts, which would be like the Aluto, uh, the Arutochi, probably if you uh, Japanese it. So Tochi is like the place of. So it would be like Arutochi is like Alusha. Uh, Aru a R U T O C H I would be the land of the Alut. So Aru Tochi. Yeah, yeah, I think that sounds pretty cool. Because uh, like they're, they're the coastal people who you would have met first. Yeah. And uh, fun fact: the name Alaska is an Alut word that means the mainland. So the Russians came along and said, "What's that area?" And they said, "Oh, that's the mainland." Yeah. Because they asked the guys who live on the islands off the coast what the big thing was called, and they're like, the mainland, of course. So, Alaska yeah. literally just means mainland. Kind of, always, like, kind of... Oh, it's about this one. It's so fascinating, so many stupid things in regards to, to names of areas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's put you there. Oh, Russia just extended a bit further. Just saw the name grow larger. Oh, they're going down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, um, went to look at the, uh, 
recent comics of Scandinavia in the world, and I think that one sums it up pretty well. The new sums the new year up pretty well, specifically. My question is, where are the rebels getting their cannons from? Uh, I didn't leave them sitting them. around, did I? They got a. Can you convert bills into cannons? I suppose they can. Yes. Like I just realized, like there could be a makeshift thing that could be interesting. <laughs> Shit. Oh god, I have a permanent play claim on Taiwan. Uh, what was the Taiwan mission again? Uh, I think that just leads you into getting a claim on uh, nearby China. Yeah, I don't want that anyways. I gotta get Secure the Pacific. Uh, it gives me permanent claim midway, Fujian and Zhejiang, doesn't matter. Uh, colonize Taiwan is Japan. Mandate. Uh, is the Emperor of China? Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna get that. That will give me a new tradition, an admiral, and conquistador. And I don't, that doesn't matter. Okay, so Connors to a man. I mean, the 60 tradition explorer is quite nice, but it doesn't really matter. So I think I just, by default, leave that alone at least. Eat up there. Oh, that's uh, let's get that out of here. That's really good. Oh, yeah, that's correct. I entirely forget about that. Man, so, a uh, fun fact the cost of your institution is factored not by your development, but by the uh, autonomy in that land. So if you have a you know, bunch of land that's 50% development, embracing is cheaper. I have a lot of land that's still lowering the autonomy, so my price of uh, in embracing global trade is going up. Let's see. No, oh, my gold mine that I didn't make collapsed. No. Rip. Your rivals, uh, Mongolia. All right, sure. I like how Mongolia's borders very closely match Mongol borders today. Yeah. Okay, Japan is back. Like, like, like the name. So apparently, getting the wasteland up there moved it back down. Yes. <laughs> uh. Wow. Uh, I, I, I don't care. <laughs> what the, 
Yeah. Okay. I still like how my Japanese name just refused to actually get to Indonesia and started at the ocean when I was doing <laughs> that. Dang, damn it, you stupid rebels. Alright. Trying to convert you for your own good. Oh my god, Hanshuang is... Uh, oh dear, Transoxiana is getting invaded by the Russians. Ugh. Russian conquest of Orda. Well, looks like I might have to do a little bit of cauterizing there, too. Yeah. Yeah, they have a lot of their permanent... Is it permanent claims? I think it is. Yeah, they have permanent claims to, you know, try and... Mm. Create modern Russian borders. Well, as long as I can stop them from getting too far below the RLC, we should be good. And even if they do get far down below the RLC, that will be fought over later. Remember when I made a joke that I was going to play, like, peaceful Tibet? <laughs> yeah. And then you wanted all of China, uh, all of the. Tibetan culture, China. I was like, hmm. I helped you form China, though. With a single war that I technically didn't achieve. It. <laughs> but it was nice to have the distraction. My diplomat! What, Harima? Uh, well, you. Yeah. All oh, Russia wants military access through me. <laughs> no. Build more forts. Build more farms. Forts. Fort farms. Oh, Gujarat. Oh, they, they suck anyways, okay.
Or I sometimes I get two new consoles there. Afghanistan, letting the Russians in is a bad move. You should have learned this. I just got rivaled by Russia. Hey. And Transoxiana has uh, made peace with Russia. Who are their allies? Mm, okay, yeah, I should definitely. Should definitely go to war with them sooner. You can't hear me too, right? Nope. Great. Nope. Yeah, I hope Russia rivals Castile forever, Spain forever, because, um, yeah. Ah, who's that in Tasmania? Spain. Spain in Tasmania. They have gold there, oh, okay. They, they made it, yeah, they managed to make gold spawn there, so I guess that's something. Yeah. I just get re just really annoyed by Europeans colonizing colonial nations. Because colonial nations are very, very, very low to culture convert. In my game, Japanese Australia made their capital on the one territory that was Portuguese, and after 60 to 70 years, they still didn't convert, culture convert, their capital. For some reason. Like, I would pay my own points to culture convert their own bleeding capital. Uh, 
That's interesting. I mean, yes. not as interesting given Austria is basically dead in this timeline, but ha a Habsburg rules Spain. Well, that happened in real life. Yeah, just the line is Habsburg and not what it was originally. Of course, Russia is still ruled by the Rovikovich. Well, I don't imagine the Romanovs ever doing anything of interest. This institution spreading from me having to do anything, which is nice. It's nice. <clears throat> it's still going to cost me like 2,000 gold at this point. But, uh, it should, should uh, get a lot cheaper in the next few years. And three years, so good here. We are not so, oh my god, can't do set us do you think? Do you think the Suez Canal would still be okay if it was built by the Chinese? Yes. <laughs> I was thinking on potential goals to push myself towards. Oh, I see Japanese Hawaii is a thing. Oh! It is Polynesian. Uh, Hawaii... North... Uh, Northern Polynesian. Yeah, culturally Polynesian. Ocean Shinto. Wake Island, with its own name. Fun fact, J Japan has its in an entire name set for conquering China. Like, all the provinces get renamed to Japanese names as you're oh, doing wow. it. I respect the hustle.
Now I'm sure everyone will uh, be super ready and super prepared for the next institution of uh, manufactories. Because I'm sure everyone has all of their manufactories already built and ready to go. Oh yes, I wish I had money. <laughs> well hey, there's the development of iron... Well, I guess most of those mountains are more copper and not iron. Yes, <laughs> less. So that actually reduced your money. I forgot that was, I knew it was a lot of metal, I forgot most of it was copper. Well, that's definitely a little bit problematic. Let's see if I can get over there. Probably not. Can give it a shot though. Sorry. 
Well, this is looking quite well. But I'm going to fail my... Uh... Oh, this is so annoying. The entirety of China it has prospered. Nice. Now all of China knows that you're prosperous. I take it that doesn't mean about now all of China knows that you are something It something. certainly is. I uh, I've become a republic, by the way. I hope that's yeah, I noticed. not not a massively stupid thing to do, but it seems. No, I noticed, but I was trying to send you a run marriage offer, but you just like nah. Oh, it, it it's an insult to my. It's actually. Funny. I'm sorry. It lowers <laughs> your total potential absolutism for you know, so you know you don't have yeah. as much conquest ability uh, late game. But, uh, it... well... You do have a next election when ruler dies, but you have a really, really good ruler, so I don't really know about that in particular. Yeah, well, there's, there's been a couple of elections, and the other choices are pretty terrible, so I've been sticking with my current ruler, and that's been lowering my... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Republican well, that's how it so. works, is your rulers yeah. start off bad, so if you accept a succession of bad rulers, you'll be able to keep a nice high Republican tradition. Hmm. Um, and but at the very if you least, need... be mediocre rulers, because you can still accept them for uh, whatever point you need most at the time. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. Hansium. Just one of mine. Uh nope. Oh this we have movement. Okay, sure. Oh Korea. Oh and the allied with Donghai, that's excellent. Yeah, I suppose I really should tackle Taiwan, shouldn't I? Yeah, like if they can knock it up now next board would be great. Uh, I'm going to like, declare on them in in 2000, uh, 1619. Um, so, yeah. I have uh, Christmas Island, and I am getting the Andamans. Unfortunately, Portugal is getting the uh, other islands over there. But those are uh, Indonesian islands rather than Indian Ocean, so. Well, I, I could have been colonizing at Hobart, I was saying. Well, I did say you That's could not... colonize those two islands, if you wanted yeah. to. Alright, it's milk under the bridge. Oh, Don't spilled milk? about milk okay. that you spilled <laughs> under the bridge, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Once the bridge has had milk spilled under it, you can't cry over it. Those are the rules. <laughs> Don't spill in the milk that's under the glass house. Yeah, don't, don't, don't throw uh, spilled milk, <laughs> milk in glass houses. Uh, and if you do, definitely uh, don't cry over it. Yes. Oh, wow. It's too late, I'm crying. Uh, tears of happiness. It's better to have uh, loved and lost than to have never cried at all. Uh, Yeah. Will I make this? Yeah, I think I actually will make the mission. That's good.
please make the mission. 140 per year. That should be good. I do have potentially a very important question. What is uh, what is going to happen with India? Uh, I think I'm question. going to gradually push my way down into India as the plan. Got to get that coastline after all. So, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm just lowering my aggressive expansion in there a little bit first. Did it! Great, okay. So... Uh, I'm still uh, sort of vaguely interested in... Uh, Going after parts of VJ Yanagar. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but I think I'll have to um, complete my uh, watch, uh, exploration ideas. If I complete that, apparently I can fabricate claim overseas in colonial regions. Um, nice. Maybe that doesn't include India, I don't know. Uh, overseas colonial regions would be colonial areas like the New so, World and Australia. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I'm, I meant to ask, by the way, am I able to make colonial nations as Khmer, or do I have to be yeah. a European? Yeah, you can. So if I colonised enough of like, Southern Australia, would it become a colonial nation? Yes, yep. same with New Zealand. Uh, you cool, would, cool. uh... Does it count in the regions, or some kind of... I tried this once, and I ended up making, like, a nation in Papua New Guinea to make... So I could become Australia, and Papua New Guinea was too close. Was mm. it by raid? What was the, what what factor did I can't remember? But yeah, that that was also before Polynesian and Triangle was separate. But as long as it's not your continent, you'll still make a colonial region out of it. Mm. So like. Japan, obviously, I made Japanese Australia as a colonial nation, and they, since they had gold, they were giving me sacks of gold every few years. Oh. Huh. It says I can't cancel military access while I have units inside their territory. I categorically do not have. Oh, there we go, it just changed. Weird. Magic. Magic. Actually, considering humanist here, it's just so good. It's just late with the fully embraced, but the but two I'm first humaning. just. I'm yeah. human considerist. You know what? Seems also quite good. Should I just go and else? Honestly. Okay, so um, let's move some of these guys into new worlds. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, economic could also be good. Yeah, I've got economic and it's working out pretty nicely for me right now. Yeah, especially because like I need a lot of investment. Um, I can, it's stuff like the construction cost I'm looking at. Um, be really cool. Some of that kind of stuff done. That's a question. Because like inflation reduction is really good for me. Production efficiency and construction cost and the development cost could help with the uh, institution stuff. Why is Arutochi already in debt? Like what? What did you do? That's... God damn idiots. The spice tree. Oh God, this is really bad. This fine? It's fine. Okay. All right, I've gone far enough in my ideas that I get mandate point oh five a month faster.
However, I do really wish my leader was uh, better in the way of administrative, because that's what's holding me back the most. Uh. Like the Tibetan, like, tongue. The protection the... tentacle. I yes. also released Kazakh and Kiva. Ah. So that I could minimize some of the stuff that was taken away. Okay, uh. I guess I have to arrive with Russian for the moment. I think that actually. Some filthy Russians. Okay, let's go for economic ideas. What is the tariffs? Pseudo compatibility is okay. Kind of, sh kind of shit stuff you can get with it. But I do like all of the money. Let's do, let's do it. Screw it. Let's uh, let's get it going. Like my inflation is is fifteen percent almost. I think it's just even though I remember like uh, uh, Hobo we talked about um, in another uh, last last game or whatever uh, that we played long in Scandinavia that the economic was that good when you were ever in the LA game. Um, I think that was it. That economic isn't that good in the late game. Yeah, um, like it's better when you're developing. Well, yeah, it is better when you're developing because the uh, end of economic is plus is cheap ten. Uh, the, yeah. The end of economic is twenty percent cheaper development cost. Yeah. Which helps, and uh, if you decide to go large army as well, it combines with quantity for another ten percent cheaper development. Yeah. Uh, why is global trade getting more expensive for me to embrace? Uh, Are you coring more things? I I have been coring more things. Yeah. Okay. Why? You have okay. more cores that don't have it. Right. Oh well. Also, it factors off of autonomy. So, if there's any land that you're uh, lowering the autonomy in, tell me why. Um, not intentionally, but yeah. Uh... Uh, max absolute absolute season of sixty nine. Nice. Hey, <laughs> right, that is quality ideas completed. Get that all important artillery combat. Stand loans. Cool inflation. I have. Excuse me, what is that? Oh. Denmark went Protestant, and Spain's defender of the Catholic faith. So they're hmm. fighting each other. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is the world <laughs> where basically the entirety of Europe is no longer Catholic. Oh yeah, that's true. I like my colonies though, good colony. They're colonizing. I say shit. I am, against my better judgment of being two texts behind on it, going to try and push to Complete economic ideas, so that way I can flatten out my the development in some of my lands that need it for uh, various things to be built in them. Hmm. So it's an interesting situation in the kind of Mexican region right now. 
uh, with the the Japanese coming in from the west, the Portuguese coming in from the north, and there's still a couple of quite powerful native native Ooh. kingdoms it seems, although the Aztecs seem to have vanished as what is yeah, that? Mexico Cocomas? is uh, Mexico Cocomas. has taken all almost all of the gold mines there. Now. Oh. Like I could like go for Salisco or something. It's just uh, at this point you're not going to get a huge amount unless you fight Mexico directly. Which yeah, I'm not going to is... do that yet anyway. So it's like yeah. I think I'm just going to develop uh, the stuff I have. Thanks. And... Should we go and help the Inca? They're being invaded by the French right now. I can do I nothing about it. We should I save have... them. You mean oh, take uh, wait. Uh, oh no, it's a civil war, I think. Okay, I was misreading. Well, I think, oh no, there are there two things. Being... So that, yeah, yeah, it's French and civil war at the same time. That's not good. Or oh, Inca. They are, as they say, having a time. Oh. So I'm amused that I've uh, established tributaries over in basically the edge of Armenia at this point. At the end. Right, go on, uh, Let's get... Take Armenia and make them a tributary. <laughs> <laughs> Taking off absolutely no one whatsoever in the process, surely. Surely. And don't call me Shirley. Prussia is going to attack Denmark. Rip the Danes. Rip and tear the Danes until it is done. I think I insult Russia. How, uh. Screw you, Russia. How little do you think you'd be able to understand a uh, Danish person speaking Japanese? Uh. <laughs> that is a good question. Um. <laughs> I say nothing. Like, it's, it's hard enough to understand Danish to begin with, so. Versus Korea my, ascendant. My choices for rivals are Japan, Bang, Hello, Tibet, Hello, and Spain. Goodbye. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with my one existing rival, which is the Barmanis. Yeah, I'm also rivaled uh, with the Barmanis. Funny thing, they're the one guy who's not in an active military coalition with me in India. Oh, all the Mamluks Come just on. coalitioned me. I'm going to uh, wait. They did. Okay. Um, oh, okay. I'm going to uh, fight the the Koreans in a moment. Oh my God! You're this expansion, uh, Tibet. Yeah, I know. I had to do a lot in order to lock off Russia. Oh God! Yeah. So, why do you have my currency? Because I don't like Russia, and you are like a key ally in that that stuff. Yes, we we are we're protecting each other against Russia. And I'm protecting all these other little people against Russia.
Right, I'm going to attack Korea. All right. No. Not if much left like to come. Feel free to call me in, Angst. I, <laughs> my navy could do some uh, exercise. Well, that'd be um, oh, like, let's see. Um, I guess they don't. Oh, I, was, I see on the map they're down to. I didn't realize they're down to two provinces at this point. Yeah, uh, so yeah. it's not that important anymore. But yeah. uh, like, if you want to get some naval tradition up or, or like blockade some stuff to get some money, whatever, I can call oh, you. Sure, in. yeah. Um, uh, do you want to call me in? Um, sure. Uh, I'm just. Uh, like, uh, if you're bald, right? Just. just uh, uh, basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I hope we can. I'm, I'm going to leave Taiwan alone. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm already sailing my fleet. You know what? You know what? Here's a question. I can build a canal around long places. Why can't you build a canal through Malacca? <laughs> that is actually a good point. Oh. Actually, let's not do that yet. It's, uh... um, I am going to wait until you siege Dong high enough to where they don't want to join in on the side, just so it's easier. Sure. Since, you know, you're going to siege and take Dong high anyway. I'm going to take as much Dong high, Dong high as possible. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to take as much Dong, Dong as possible. <laughs> take that Dong. I can upgrade my government. Um, who do we say is having Taiwan, by the way? I guess that's going to Hobo. It's between you guys. Uh, I think it's Hobo, but uh, yeah. yeah. Taiwan would be Chinese. Yeah, it makes it is, sense. It I... is in the Canton node, so. Yes. Tis glorious Chinese clay. Oh, God. I just noticed all the Spanish colonies in Australia. That's. Annoying. Oh, wow, yeah, they don't have anywhere else to send their colonists, apparently. <laughs> wow. I'm not going to get my colonial nation oh my now. Crap. Oh, wait, you are, probably. Yeah, you are. But, yes. um, yeah, you'll be, you'll we'll... be able to get colonial nation, but there'll also be a. It's just going to be. We'll have to fight yeah. How many it. provinces, like, how many provinces like... do you need for a colonial five, nation? Five. And five. five in New Zealand counts as Australia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, there's a, there's a chance then. But yeah, I. Oh, yeah, I think and then, I'm going yeah, to be angling really towards. To, uh, it's, it's really good. Very good stuff. Land war with Spain and Australia, I think, is going to be my my plan. Hi. Yeah, I've just been not embracing letting it, letting uh, the institution spread while I get my uh, ideas going. One of the very important ideas I wanted was in diplomatic ideas for 20% uh, cheaper province war score cost. There is totally not anything I'm going to conquest is going to make this simpler. Make it simpler by getting this. No sorry. Then of course trying to get uh, economic ideas up, but Forza is probably not going to happen for a little while if I go to any kind of war. Mm. As my person decided to have two in administrative, and the next person is three in administrative. So I'm just perpetually behind on it. Without spending a disgusting amount of money to get a dude to level four, anyway. Really don't want to do that right now, because saving money for... Constructing buildings, and uh, after that, constructing ships. Especially when my dudes die. My dudes! I need to hire a new one. My dudes! What is up, my dudes? My fellow dudes.
Well, this this coalition against me, I'd kind of like to fight them almost. Because I think I could take on Delhi, Bengal, Multan, and Gujarat, and Jump. Like, I think I could take on everyone in North India at once. I just couldn't do that with the Bahmanis behind them. So you're assaulting the island of Jeju, Angst? Uh... uh. Yes. Also that fleet is actually wow. amazing deft. It's great. Yeah, it's the fear of Japanese something. I'm not doing it is, work. I'm not sure. They're, they they aren't doing too well Korea, so it's not like much bragging rights to beat them up like this. <laughs> no, it's hardly a challenge. Alright, Dong Hai shall not join, so I am going forward. Remember how I mentioned that whole, hey, I need more administrative power? Let's spend it on conquest. Or at least I have completed my ideas, or my uh, tradition set. 150,000 manpower without quantity ideas. It's pretty nice. Nice. I'm currently sitting at 67,000 max manpower. Also, my mandate is above positive again. Yeah. Oh, I see uh, Tang is invading Taiwan already. Didn't realize you were involved in this. Oh, I, I was doing it separately. I was just waiting ah, for Dong yeah. Hai to uh, not join in. So that way, oh, oh sorry, Dong. yeah. They were in two wars. <laughs> Kind of surprised the uh, Europeans, well, mainly Castile, are pushing so heavily on this, considering Castilian Brazil has a lot of open land still. Yeah, it's definitely a bit odd, isn't it? Uh, Daft, can you come with, uh, with the north with the fleet? We can get to uh, Tatar Straits. Uh, sure. Sorry, just had a lot of events pop up. That's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, right, so if we... So which straight, sorry? Uh, Tatar Straits. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, up between the Manchuria and the, the oh, islands. Goodness. Okay, uh, yep. I want oh, to cross into I army. see the Donghai fleet there, yep. Yeah. The it's just a call that you don't really need... You probably don't even need to fight. Um, So we can cross. It, or I can, you know, I'm just going to beat up the, the army. So. See how much 200 aggressive expansion with them. That's never going to go down. I think it's worth more just to give it to. Uh, yeah. Let's have to beat up these guys. Thank you so much, there. Oh, we are going for it. Okay, coming. Uh, oops, I. Yes. 
Ah, who are they fighting? Someone else. Uh, Udega. He's my vessel. Right, so you are going... Uh, oh, what's my fighting? Okay, Axel okay, you, you're fighting them. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I think we got this... Uh... Yeah, I should be fine. Oh, it's fighting under there. Yeah. Crazy... Oh, wait, no, no, Crazy Admiral... Speaking. And... Yeah. Crazy yes, Admiral yes. is the title. Boom. <laughs> Jesus. It's so I, random. I just recruited a fresh admiral and it was three stars, which I never had before. Even as England, I never had that. What's your uh, per tradition? Sorry? Um, naval tradition. Let's have a look. Army tradition. Oh, army oh, naval, tradition. Naval, naval tradition. Uh, it's general. How do it's I see admiral. So, uh, yeah, how, how do I see that again? Sorry. Uh, naval tradition. On, it's on the military. Uh, discipline, army tradition, da, 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 da. Oh, um, Navy, uh, Navy tradition is almost a hundred. Is that, is that why? Then? Yeah, that would certainly be why. Higher tradition. I'm surprised that's that high already. I, I think I chose an idea which gave me naval tradition from protecting trade, which I have been doing a lot. So, is that why that's... Okay, what? Japanese conquest of Hansiong. Yes, so it's the first one, and it got the Dong, Dong, Dong Hai thing. I'm gonna do this. Should have got some money from that. GG. Um. Yes, I got eleven ducats. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, two sixty-five for Kjo. <laughs> Conquest against Tang. Oh, the timeline, I don't care. That is because it is 40 development and uh, already embraced as a state, so you're full. Yeah. Time. It hurts, but it's fine. I actually wait with it. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, it's probably worth just doing. Okay. Let's farm some more gold. So I've also just guaranteed no guy against Russia, and I'm going to vassalize them soon. I've... Yeah, vassalizing them quickly before Russia. Well, turns. they're they're already my ally, so. Ah, uh, fair. Just ah, yeah, so it seems fine. But just uh, be careful about the Russian aggressive expansion. You know, for you. I don't have any aggressive expansion against Russia. It's like five it doesn't matter, but but yeah, yeah, I was just like looking at the. Uh, yeah, just be careful against the Russian yeah. army because they do even surpass my force limit because, you know, they're fucking Russia. Flippy dip dip Russia. Well, I am willing to spend some of my monthly money in uh, rooting out corruption by unbalancing my research so I can get the, the development cost down. Just be a little bit disappointing. The Emperor has died. Long live the Emperor and his four-year-old brother, who's a 221, who is immediately going to be removed. <laughs> uh, did you get any money for that for war death, by the way? 
Uh, I did. I got a small amount. It's like 11 ducats or something. Oh, right. Yeah. It gave me something to do. I'm quite happy. Only 1200 ducats in loans now? It uh, does look like you don't have a uh, peace treaty with uh, Machpahid anymore, but I don't think you've been making claims over there. And uh, their capital, being 41 development, you're going to want to claim on it. Yes. So, I guess immediate end bosses is like, well, I'm going to face Portugal too, so like Portugal, Portugal, Spain is like one entity and then Russia is like another. Well, here's the thing, we'll be fighting those end bosses by ocean, so... Uh, I don't want that at all. That sounds spooky. Spooky, scary ocean boss. I wonder what the explanation for the Andamans being Aboriginal culture is. Oh jeez, yeah, that's pretty bad. I, I, I have no clue why there's Aboriginals up here in the Indian Ocean. Yeah, they're like... The, I mean, I guess the reason would be that they'd be a one a one province cultural minor. I guess there's, there's some cultural connection with the sort of very ancient human migration through the region. To that's uh, that's that uh, that's a right. that's stretch. That's sort of well, 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 true. That would be sort of like saying, uh, you know, ultimately, I think that the uh, the Indo-Europeans should be one culture, mm. not one culture group, but one well, culture. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I mean, granted, even. Even Polynesian is in the Malay culture group, which I find interesting. Uh, I mean, what? that one's not terrible, <laughs> honestly. Oh, it isn't? Okay. Well, but then so, there's then there uh, is like... the Pacific culture group, which has Papuan, Aboriginal, and um, Malukan in it. You'd figure. Yeah, that one. That one is. Thing. You just put them into the Pacific group, which would make a lot more sense. Basically, if you want to go really far back. Um, the Chams, like the people of Champa, and the indigenous people of Tibet and Polynesians are the same group, as are incidentally the native people of uh, Madagascar, the Malagasy. Uh, Malagasy. So, like, it's not... Malagasy yeah. gets put into the East Bantu culture group with Swahili. Yes, which is hilariously incorrect. But I know why they do it. It's the same reason that uh, that Finnish is in the Scandinavian culture group because the culture group is not actually linguistics; it's what people live in an area. Yeah. So it's meant to show familiarity. So like the Finns have more understanding of what a Swede is than they do of what a Mordvin is, even though culturally speaking, they're closer to the Mordvins and linguistically speaking. And then you look at, you know, East, Eastern Europe, and there's just, like, the Baltic culture, the West Slavic culture, the Carpathian culture, that are just tiny and sad. The Livonian Order has apparently landed in Scotland somehow. Well, 
I, I, I'm going to guess it has something to do with the but... Norwegian and Danish holdings in Scotland a while earlier. Also, Wait, the Livonians, yeah, Scotland, Scotland. Okay, yeah. The Livonians own the capital of Norway. <laughs> that's sorry. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, that that's blob in Akershus has been there since the start of the session. But yeah, I got confused. I, I didn't realize I'd also gone to Argyll in Scotland. Um, seems like um, okay. Yeah, so Norway's been absorbed by Denmark. That's uh, yeah, interesting. Over here, of course, our our borders are much better and much cleaner with no Chang Shangs in the way. It's uh, it's our version of what did we say? Is it Navarra or uh, something along those uh, lines? Not even our version of Neutral. Navarra. It's our version of Liechtenstein. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or San Marino, which, for a weird little it's historical thing, gets to not be absorbed into the obvious empires around it. I always find it interesting that they actually add those in, like, map changer. You know, you know what I should do? I should see if, uh... Crap, now I don't remember the name of it. I have to look at the streamer I was, that I saw using it the other day. There's a map. Like, it, a thing that makes the map a lot more detailed with more provinces. Yeah. But not, you know... Detailed in the terms of Voltaire's Nightmare, just, you yeah. know, yeah. more detailed, that uh, I wonder if we should use sometime. Uh, Erotic Robotation, thank you. <laughs> For this, that, it takes forever to... <laughs> okay, how, I'm 33% now. Currently, annexation will be finished in 49 Beyond Typhus, that's what it was. That's Beyond Hypus, because it's pretty hype. Let's see if there's still a version of that uh, for one for the one more plane. I just got the statesman. Come on. Do we have any other? No. Screw it. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Just need to get more soldiers. But, um, yeah, I don't know.
That's why I call this out. Uh, do you want to go from Mong Mongolia? Or do we even have the money? Uh, okay, 60,000 troops. Did someone say good. fight Mongolia? Yeah. Uh, I, it will take a while until I'm ready for it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair I'm aiming for like the Kirin, uh, the Kirin provinces, but that's about it for me. Also, like the problem is that the Solar and Dong High are both Mongolian at the moment. Yeah. The only alive with Dong High. One more loan, and I'm debt free. Do I really make an empress who's a four three two with an average claim? Yeah, I really want that administrative. But yes, I have been uh, slowly building claims on Mongolia, and uh, it certainly would not go amiss to push the envelope against Russia before they do the same. Yeah, exactly. I should probably just like eat the bullet or whatever you say and get this Fight stuff uh, caught. Just eat the bullet. Yep. Nom 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 nom. I should have a very small army for my size, but you know, it's about. Months. I think I'm going to start coring this stuff. Sadly, I'm not directly seeing a version of Beyond Typhus for uh, the particular version we're on, which is a shame because it adds a lot more provinces and flavor to quite a lot of uh, the world. Yeah, I wonder, like... The problem is, uh, if, if if they at some point like stop doing DLCs for it, uh, I hope like someone like just doesn't mod that just retracts some of the most stupid shit, um, that gets it in a line. I guess it's quite easy to edit, but on the other hand, it they, they hopefully have some kind of balance. Like, if you've changed something and Spain always collapses, right? Then then they shouldn't mod it. Happy I, New Year! Yeah, I just remembered Beyond Typhus since it, we. The entire per reason of me remembering it was because we mentioned San Marino. Mm. And uh, if I recall correctly, I don't remember exactly where San Marino is, but it is. That, that is the it's Beyond funny. Typhus map of Italy. <laughs> See, it uh, adds quite a bit more. So, I think I'm going to attack Madja Pahit, who appears to be diplomatically isolated and quite a bit weaker than me. Ah, 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 so. I need to build myself a fleet so I can come out and help you. Uh, <laughs> don't it's it's forget, okay, I got this. Don't forget to get that claim on their capital. Yes, do you have a claim on their capital? I have a claim on one of the problems, it's not the capital. Make sure there. you have a claim on the capital, it'll make it massively, massively cheaper for you. Wait, am I here? I might be rivals... No, I'm not rivals with them. Uh, okay. Um... Yeah... I think I'd have to wait for quite a few years to... be able to do that. Hey, you share a... C zone with them, it's 
how much does your spine network grow up? 0.93. And it would take 25 to fabricate since you already have uh, one claim, so, you know. Yeah, the spine, spine network is currently at 2.82. Uh, okay, well, I will, I will lower maintenance and uh, come back to this. Uh, All loans have been paid! Woohoo! Look like a million years. Yeah, it's just like a claim lowers the uh, cost by 10%, and when it's 41 development, believe me, you're gonna feel that 10%. <laughs> Okay. On top of, you know, the diplomatic power it would take to even take that in the co in the peace deal because you don't have a claim on it. Uh, okay. My goodness, I'm hearing rumors about people of whom I have never heard before. Whatever will we do about Kokomes and Klaxaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklaklakl
Russians. Uh, you have to specif specify a time period and honestly, uh, also like time period of Danish in that, ca that case. But um, Rick, like the, I think the only area that would probably have an easy time pronouncing Danish today is like Dutch. Um, if you're outside, uh, outside Scandinavia. Alright, now that I've got economic ideas, I'm just going to start taking out the cheap loans from my uh from my instant from my uh merchants. And then with that I will embrace my institution. Where did you get global trade from? Me? Yeah. Um, it was just coming into my territory. Like I, I had a little bit of global trade in my south from Bengal and Tirhut and Kathmandu. Ah, and Ava. Where yes. Yes. More stuff there. Yes. Yeah, good point. Yes, yeah, so them too. You know. I never mentioned it before, but I just realized how obnoxious the Chengdu node is. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit silly. The Treaty of Tortellini, which means um, Tierra Austral has formed. That's another reason I think why um, Castile went so hard over here, because they... With that treaty, they can't colonize any region that Portugal has already colonized. Yeah, they got Tortellini. Mm -hmm. uh, I see Portugal getting... Well, well, they have gotten Tonga. I wonder where... I'm trying to get some manufacturers out now.
Nice, Multan and John Corps just left the military coalition against me. Also, Transoxiana is getting eaten up by internal conflicts right now. This is kind of hilarious. A new colonial nation. Oh. Sorry, could we uh, pause for a moment? I yes, yes, need sir. to think of a name oh. for... I don't think Cambodian Australia is not really yeah. helping my mission. Uh, any ideas? Oh, I'll call? look up some words. Uh, so like Southlands, Great Desert. Alright, so I'm bringing up my English to Khmer. Uh, Great Desert, Big Desert Island. Uh, Australia. Sorry, guys. Uh, I would just realize, you know, that, like, Cambodia is not a language, it's uh, Yeah, Khmer, Khmer is the language. So. Um, you could look up, oh, cool. um, let's see, uh, the Southland mean is a De Kangapong. The, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. Yeah, D-E-I. Okay. It's two words. So it's D-E-I yeah. space K-H-A-N-G-O-T B-A-U-N-G. Thank you, yeah. I've, uh, That's Southland. I've also got that. There we go. Okay, uh, good, to, good, to, uh, good to continue, guys. Yeah, good to continue. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, I just got oh, a mission. It hasn't updated on my map yet. Sorry? Oh, I just got a mission. Ah. Gain 300 military power at the Tureen Basin. Wait, what did I need to do by that? What made me suddenly have that? Oh, I had to. I had to convert all of it, and I just finished doing that right now. I'm being overtaken by Portugal. That's a great power. No worry. I haven't been developing my provinces this session, so it's probably. Or, uh, conquering. Or conquering. You are stronger than them, like, development-wise, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe they're ahead, because I don't have the institution yet. That's yes. going to be affecting things. Uh, I guess it should be
But yes, for reference, now that I uh, have my mandate up to combat standards, I am uh, very much willing to push the uh, northern border. That is a lot of noble rebels. What the heck did you just do? <laughs> did you seize land from them? I did, yes. But basically everyone except the nobles was really happy with me, so they're the only ones who rebelled. Yeah, but when they conquer land, if you look at the pop-up after that, they do get a percentage back, and if there's enough of them, they might actually get more back than what you seized. Uh, well, they didn't. And I also had my guys fight off the noble rebels in all the other places, so... So all is fine. It's kind of interesting that all my nobles are in that particular bit of the country. So, how do you guys feel about the uh, Chinese Cameroon? Cool. <laughs> um, I'm feeling intensely cool right now. <laughs> well, you know, from what I gather of current day politics, China has quite a heavy influence in uh, certain regions of Africa. So it's, you know, it's, it's like it's accurate. It's just a few centuries earlier. Yeah, exactly. So I'd say that seizing of territory was totally worth it, since, oddly, I was checking. The land that I got from that, I went up to 73.35, and then it didn't go down at all when they sieged down a couple of provinces. Huh. Maybe they already controlled those lands. The last time I did, I seized land when they were, and they ended up disloyal. That when they seized it, they got a percentage of land back. Yeah, yeah, that normally does happen, but for some reason it didn't happen in this particular circumstance, and I'm trying to figure out what that is. I'm going to build universities. Step one, university in Lhasa. Step two, university in Kathmandu. Step three, university in Ladakh. I guess, let's see. Request of university. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Imagine actually being able to build universities. <laughs> yeah. Let's get some submission code. Let's go, guys. Always remember to check the land that you have conquered from 
the AI because they will construct dumb buildings. Hmm. Such as Suigen in Korea being Chinaware, but not actually constructing a uh, manufactory there. I think it's time to institution in place as soon as possible. Do we get another merchant? Which is good. And... Oh, Panama. You bastard. So can I send to... I can't send to Rio Grande because... I think... Wait, what? Are... Oh, okay. So good. Come on. Yeah, like, uh, I'm calling, but I'm basically ready to fight. Yeah, I think so, at least. If you want to do for the Mongolia thing. Specifically because, uh, yeah, we are rushing. Against the rushing. I mean, I certainly wouldn't mind. Where's Colombia? Oh. God damn it. That's very fun. Unfortunately, my claim on the highest development province that Mongo Mongolia has on my borders has faded, but... Holy shit, England. Why is England such a mess? Why is the Vonian order in England? <laughs> why is Scotland... Let's ask Daft. Like, Daft, what? why is your country such a mess? Yes. Um, Daft, I've got the situation. <laughs> Wait, I thought Daft The phrase is because we're messy and we love drama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving Europe just to see if you really care about me. <laughs> uh, funny because it's true. Be like 50% yeah. Scottish or something. Um, I mean, genetically, 100%. Culturally ambiguous. Welcome, culturally ambiguous gang. <laughs> culturally ambiguous gang of can make jokes about the Dutch people but doesn't speak any Dutch, but is just Dutch enough to not feel bad about making jokes about the Dutch people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gold. Is that here? No. Nice new, new world nation. That's good. More wasteland. More wasteland, more problems. Man, it's what? funny having Oirat and them having so many cores on me right now. No guy also has an annoyingly large number of cores on me right now. I need to see how long these cores are going to last. Is there an easy way to... Oh. 
Oh, interesting. I could return some cores to no guy to get karma. But how do I check to see how long those cores will last? I just have to mouse over their flag on the territory itself. I see. Okay, she'll never use them, so... Yeah, if they're the primary nation of the cult, that culture, they... Yeah, I'm debating if I should give no guy, like, 25 development worth of provinces so that they'll stop, so that they'll be willing to be vassalized, basically. Potentially. Yeah, I find it amusing I that Oirat isn't the primary nation of the Oirat culture. Yeah, which one is? Who's back? Zungar, which doesn't even exist at the start of the game. That is pretty funny. Oh neat, I can see Rio Grande. Okay. Mm. I'm All not right, sure I'm which idea to... group go for next. Uh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Yeah, well, I can now go for plutocratic ideas, which... Is attractive just because it gives an extra 10% morale of armies on the second idea. Um, Even better, it gives goods produced. Mm. Yeah, goods produced plus 10. Manpower recovery plus 20%. Uh, Guys, don't you want to be to be globalists? I'm so Something. I'm so amused that I'm making the nobility hate me so much. <laughs> but the monastic I mean, orders and merchant guilds love me, and I don't need the manpower right now, so I don't really care about the bonus national unrest. I mean, you are a theocracy. What are the nobles really important there for? Yeah, it's a good question, isn't it? Uh, some specs. Okay, France just riled, riled me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Fran <laughs> France? Did, why France? I don't no, know. France. They they hate me. I, I mean, I guess I'm colonial near them. Oh, yeah. this is just going to implode so hard. Uh, well, say hello and goodbye to Luxembourg, because apparently I just realized that Luxembourg exists, but it's a vassal of France, so it's getting annexed. Eh. One of these days I'll play Luxembourg. They have their own idea set, too. Yeah, that's neat. And it's not awful for being the, for becoming the emperor and everything. I I rivaled Spain specifically to try and have France like me enough to I could eventually ally them and France unrivals England to rival Japan. What? <laughs> I just don't understand. Like what? What? Why? <laughs> I'm so sweet. I'm just colonizing all the stuff in the states that you want. I mean, what's wrong with that? Silly Europeans. Actually, okay. So, so Portuguese colonization is a eighty per year minus one hundred forty. And Portugal is usually crazy in that regard. That's kind of good.
My annexation of Udega is now over 50%. I have to be careful. I've been being too nice lately, and my karma's getting pretty high. Well, if France rivaled you, they'll probably never ally me, so I may as well have them as my third rival. Yeah, probably. But how many rivals do I even have? Ah, three. That's not so bad. Yeah, uh, Spain is one of mine, though. Should I just kidding? I like how uh, I, no one I've rivaled even hates me, so... <laughs> it's just... You know, I don't like your face. Oh my god, you have no enemies! Jesus. You're too spooky, man. Okay, so... Russia is... Russia is actually improving relations with Mongolia. No, the reverse, okay. Yeah, we want to grab Mongolia fast. I think I need to extend my cordon across northern Mongolia. Oh my god. Um, Speaking of which. France is fighting Iberia. Ooh. That is actually... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyone that yeah, you can... Yeah, I guess. yeah, Japan. You should totally intervene on the side of the Spanish to fight. Yeah, I can do... France. I can... I can. <laughs> That has to be a massive great wall because yeah, it's poor. Oh my god, that's gonna hopefully drain some stuff. Ottomans are taking Crimea, humorously enough. Ooh. Well, I just oh, oh, oh man, I, I just I just played a dangerous game there. I told Russia to to f off with their Cossacks raiding my territory, and they apologized to me. Ooh. That is uh, pretty cool. Tibetan monks versus Russian Cossacks who would win. I think I'd insult Spain. Yeah. Why not? Double trade is slowly spreading. Oh, what's this? Is Transoxiana finally getting invaded by someone? Oh, good. HM's putting them out of their misery. What do I choose is looking like? Sounds like they're getting out them out of a jam, not putting them in a jam. <laughs> me, 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 me. You know, it's always nice to be able to max root out corruption and still be making money. <laughs> The question is, I actually think, like, if I'm able to do it, I think I'll just, like, buff out, like, more magic is nice, but there's not really any trade routes that will benefit me. So I think it's, like, much better just buffing out the few guys that I have. Yeah. <laughs>
I like how the 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 um the national uh noble rebels of Transoxiana are doing a better job of fighting off the HM invaders than the army of Transoxiana is. Oof, Moltan just got spanked. Actually, France is losing. This was a shit allies. Fewer troops, at least at the moment. Because there are oh. armies in Italy instead. Yeah, yes. finding a Pope was just bad and cold, dude. And England is just imploding. There are fewer troops than me. Jesus. Well, on a type Mongolia? Like, I'm, I'm still up for it. Yep, me too. Um, since it's so close now, would you mind if we waited a whole two months? That way I can get the claim on the 14 development province back. Alright, I'll uh, send my army stuff up though. Uh, let's see. I will do the same. Now provoke this damn revolt. Uh, Saka, Chishu, Maya. And. Yeah, okay. I think I'll go for Donjon first. The Dong, Dong Hai, goddammit. Um, Oh, this all looks good. Hang on. So we're dying in Mongolia itself, or... Uh, 11... 10. <laughs> it's topical, because it's Russia. One of the uh, scornful insults you can give Russia is, I hear your people are revolting. You have that in common. <laughs> I heard your air enjoys hunting. Do be careful. It'd be such a shame if an unforeseen accident would happen. You guys have played Crusader Kings enough to know exactly what that oh, is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, Jesus Christ, Portugal, you're actually speeding up crazily here. If there's one thing Portugal's good at doing, it's expanding with hilarious speed. It's just stupid because they have much worse... Uh, I guess not like for focusing on the area, I guess, but still. Oh my god, the north is just completely... Okay, so my California's going to suck here. California. I that was how to party. Insulted Russia. Uh, tip my power projection over 50, so now I'm getting a plus one in uh, the three thingies. Good news, everyone. I have five universities. Nice. What's a university? Um, Your... a thing that pays me money to work for them. Okay, we can go to war against... But we fight Mongolia prior. Like I could, I could just doubt Donghai. Honestly, actually, I think go for Donghai main. Um, it, I mean, you can go yeah, after Donghai, but if you're going after Donghai, I'm going after Mongolia separately because yeah, I think we're going separately anyways, right? Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm also ready to go to war with Mongolia. I've got a pile oh, of. Claims. Don't have any claims here. Well, it's it's it's, it's going Donghai. Oh, breaking truce. Just a moment. How long is this truce? 
It's forever. Okay, I am. Ah, oh, goddammit. I probably need to. Uh, I'll, I'll claim Mongolia. Something in Mongolia here. Uh, 20 months, then, then we'll go. 20 months, okay. Yes. Well, that'll give me time to do one more fabricate. Yeah, unfortunately, they discovered my attempt after it got over 50, of course. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not going. I was too busy trying to find a creative insult for Russia that I missed the whole being able oh, to. No. Man, the degree to which I've ruined Transoxiana's day is kind of amazing. When do these campaigns? I should do Transoxiana. Because. Huh? One of these days I should do Transoxiana, because the achievements that I, the achievement I was thinking of doing with Transoxiana would honestly just be easier if I did it as. Uh, well, not easier, but get more achievements at once if I did it as Mongolia. Because since Transoxiana is uh, conveniently placed in the Altaic culture group, they can form, reform great, the Great Yuan Dynasty. Which feels like it's fairly amusing to me to have a son of Timur reform the Yuan Dynasty. <laughs> I don't think they had anything in common. Right, Mr. History Man? Oh, just a sec. Uh, just go check something. Uh, Timur is a descendant of Mongols. So, there is a connection. Eh. It's just, none of the other sons of Timur can't form. Yeah, that is a bit weird. That because they are in the Persian culture group. They can form the Mughals, but they can't form uh, Yuan. Oh, Alaska, you beautiful bastard. I mean, Erotochi. So happy what you're doing, man. Keep it, keep it up. Oh, I have the mill. Now I can actually build on all of this paper and... Uh, Chinaware and stuff. So much money. Again, you guys have money meme. Yeah, it's... Me and my ability to actually make money. Do actually need to get these up relatively soonish because manufacturers are going to pop up in, in 20 years. Okay. I mean, well, at least I don't really, like, need this. Portuguese oh, Mexico is now boring me. And the, that nation itself has. Oh, only fault. How do I only have 4,000? Colonial nations are so weird. Like. <laughs> it's so strange, man. Um, it's because even though they have that size, if you look at the autonomy of a lot of the land they've conquered, it's pretty garbage. Uh, okay. And uh, of course, the land they conquered is different culture, different religion, so they get crap all in terms of uh, resources whatsoever from those lands. That makes sense. Actually, it's a uh, different so culture. Yeah. Yeah. Two out of my five remaining missions can be completed, but I'm definitely not going to do the Chinese frontier and the Chinese threat and restore Great Tibet as requests. <laughs> I don't think they're going to happen. For a variety of reasons. Not least of which I'm on very nice terms with the Tang. We give you cookies. 
Okay, Baluchistan and Afghanistan are fighting each other. Well, you guys have fun. You're both my tributaries, so uh, just make sure you keep on sending money to Papa Tibet and all is good. Baluchistan or like Baluzerstan? Oh. <laughs> Afghanistan, more like I can't stand. The question is, which one of us is worse with our puns? Yes. That is the question. No, the answer is yes. And I lost my claim on the 8 development territory now. Well, I'm at 33. 33 spy network development against Mongolia, which will let me grab another claim. Mongolia uh, claim uh, should be in two months. Cool. Uh, I'm hey, going to need just a little bit longer for mine because I need to get to 35 and I'm up to 33. And I'm going up by half. Hey guys, a month. why didn't why, why didn't you look at Mongolia? Con. <laughs> <laughs> Did yeah. you see it? Yeah, I see it. Wait, what? Okay, that's right. going to what? require a change in plans. I think yeah, we have we're going to have to de we're going to have to declare war on Donghai. Yep. Got that. Well, I can I can't even declare on Donhai at the that, moment. That's that's what I get for waiting for you guys. Jeez. Hey, I, you weren't waiting for me. Well, you can't go great. Uh, I don't want great wars. That's crazy, Dave. Dangerous. Although the fact that Russia has allied Mongolia honestly does prevent them from moving into Mongolia, which is good. That's true. You, you, so we are less. Uh, it's because they've rivaled, you know, me, Japan, me. all through yeah. Mongolia. Um, but if I declare on uh, Seoul on here, then only Mongolia will be called in. No, uh, only Donghai would be called in. Oh wait, no, they're tributary uh, state. Yes. Du, 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 du. So if I. Like, I can't, actually, like, I'm a bunch weaker than Mongolia, but, well, actually not that, yeah, my, my continental forces are about them. Maybe I should, like, just start raising an army again. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you guys actually want to fight the Russian army on the Mongolian border. Nah. I nah. think, what, okay, so what I'm going to do, I am going to myself declare on Solon soon. Yeah. I think. Either that or Donghai. Uh, Donghai uh, is... Well, you can also call us in because we're allied. Oh, that's... Right! Yeah! That I am spending point. money on that extra diplomatic connection right there. That is a good point. That is a very good point. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Khmer is just over there rubbing the back of Malacca. It's okay, mm -hmm. honey. I won't hurt you. <laughs> they're my friends, so, right. they're, so don't worry. they're kind of having major oh, okay. internal problems right now, so that keeps them occupied. <laughs> which is my fine. friends I'm... are having trouble, so I'm just going to watch. <laughs> well, don't worry, I'm with you. It's, compl hashtag it's complicated. Stand with Malacca. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> best friends. Ooh, hot chocolate. Yeah. It's complicated. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of rebellion problems in Indonesia, so that's keeping me occupied. Yeah, understandable. Yeah. Get them conversions going. Yeah, oh, slow process, so I probably should have invested in one of the idea groups, which helps with conversions. I mean, but, uh, when you're converting an area, if you're having struggles with that, you could uh, do the estate to get local missionary strength, and you could also try and get a missionary 
uh, in an inquisitor advisor who will also increase your missionary strength. Hmm. I can't declare one soul on very soon. Should I just call all of you in? Yes, yes, yeah. do so. Alright, so we can uh, like snatch a few provinces from Mongolia and break the alliance with Russia, probably? Yeah, I can yeah. just um, fabricate my claim now. Yes. You know what? I have a, I have a wilder idea. A bigger idea. A better idea. Alright. What if Japan does it by himself? I can do that. Makes, and then break it. And yeah. then makes Mongolia break, break their alliance with Russia, and then us two go in there ah. with our own... Ah. Yeah. I'm, I'm currently racing an army. Like I kind of have a, had a skeleton crew for a while, but it should be completely fine. Just uh, oh, why am I I'm stupid? Okay. So yeah, it's a. Uh, it still take a while, but um, I'll get my force mid out and get thirty thousand troops soon. Where are the uh, Khmer colonists? Oh. Oh. New Zealand, Zealand, in Australia New Zealand is Zealand. just a nonsense. <laughs> oh, look at that crap! Jesus Christ! Yeah. Like we, are, I, that, I'm very much looking forward to beating up the the Iberians. Honestly. Uh, yeah, they're going to be my next target once I, you know, build more stuff. Because, I, like I said, I'm just trying to get my uh, manufactories going for the next era. Unfortunately, I didn't realize how many manufactories I hadn't made yet, so the money that was going to go into making a navy is going into constructing buildings. Rip my amazing general, because apparently he was actually a loser. I have now passed 60% of annexation of Udega. Woo! Uh, what, what do you think is generally better? Uh, reduced inflation or reduced interest per annum? I'm trying to remember how, like... Uh, I'd say inflation simply because you can get events. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, for me, I don't have any loans at the moment. Mm-hmm. So for me, inflation is definitely better, specifically because I have so much. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. Yeah, and you could, you, you could get events that increase it, whereas, you no, know, if you never take a loan, the interest per annum doesn't really matter. I'm going to get a mill soon. That's good. Oh yeah, a lot right. of your... So a lot of your resources over there are factored in by the mills. Can someone remind me, where's the button to add a seat in Parliament? Because I have a parliamentary system now. I can never um, remember where it is. It should be on the province itself, I think in the top it left. Is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, it's the top left. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Parliaments are interesting. Um, if you're being a heavy colonization nation, it's actually potentially beneficial to get the parliament because one of the parliamentary things that they that can pass is one an extra colonist, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed to work out well for me in the England game, so I thought I'd go for it again. The alternative reform was presidential system, which gives you plus ten uh, institution. Growth, I think, spread, which is, you know, it's pretty good, but that's only useful when you're trying to get a new institution, which is not the whole game, you know, so I figured parliamentary well, system's probably better all around. Yeah, so parliament, I just went for general estates for that extra money. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you're welcome for that extra plus two ducats a month that I've been paying you in perpetuity death. Oh, well, uh, yeah, feel free to get rid of that if you want. Is that the um, fleet basing rights? Yeah, and I kind of need that just so my ships don't attrition while trying to sail around Malacca. Ah. Uh. Oh, 
Wow, apparently I have enough colonial range to explore the North Sea. Unexpected. What the? Alright. How to... I guess it's events or something? That's crazy. Portugal is somehow keeping up with me in... Uh... So suppose at this point there's no reason for me to stop taking those loans until it starts impacting my absolutism cap because I'm losing my inflation so quickly. It just doesn't hurt to have those loans and it's just extra money that I can spend on stuff. Yeah, I mean, every time you do that, it does lower your mercantilism, but mercantilism is only really useful if you're you know, actually getting money from trade. <laughs> yeah. Uh, poor, poor Tibet. Tibet doesn't need trade. Trade is a bourgeois concept. Yeah, it kind of is, honestly. He's right, you know. <laughs> All right. So you have an army. So oh, uh, economic ideas is finished. Feels good. I'm ready to move against uh, Magnolia whenever you'd like. Uh, you, you guys think that like if we do um, the war separate? Actually, I need to. Ah, uh, the counter spy spy production. That's an, that's annoying. Uh, but yeah, so I can't declare on Donghai yet. Okay. Uh, three more years, and I can do that. Okay. Or I will get the, the claim on Solon. Um, yeah, yeah we'll whatever comes break. first. I think Donghai is better. Just need to break Mongolia from Russia. Yeah. Like, Trans Siena probably... is having such a hilariously bad time. Hmm. Uh, Afghanistan appears to be having a pretty bad time too, though. Yes. France, oh, yeah, France right, is having a pretty Delhi. bad time. France is uh, getting owned by Spain, which is scary. Yeah, France is having a real bad time too. Um, Transoxiana seems to have splintered heavily. Yeah, since I, I did. I, I I did that. I broke away Kiva and oh. Kazakh. That was me. Oh, okay. Uh, France. <laughs> Keep your stuff. Released. Uh, um, never. Never is never back, and uh, they got like bore. Yeah, they did and all the new that world. for Laborde and Rossillon. What the fuck? So I didn't do it. I didn't take any... Okay. Damage done? <laughs> Absolutely not. What an idiot. Oh, I mean, all of the land is on fire, and they released Nevers and... So I suppose Pahan. I'm at 78% of my land being state land. I don't think I get any bonuses if I put it higher, do I? Or... Uh, you do... Well, I don't remember the... F limits that I have to look up. I was trying to deny political land here. <laughs> our superbly drilled army is, in the opinion of our most influential generals, invincible. Any recent setbacks are down to the weather, or the enemy using unmanly things such as tactics. As far as our generals are concerned, there's no way to improve upon perfection, lose one army professionalism, and gain military complacency. Either that or lose a stability. Hmm. Rough, rough, rough. I think I'll lose a stability for now. I think the truth may upset oh. some people. So, uh, how much Portugal keeping up here? How much crown land do you have? 78%. Okay, yeah. The only thing that's better is if you get 100. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, 75 to 99 and then 100 is uh, an extra 0.04 reduction in autonomy and an extra 5% taxes. Cool. That's all that is. So you're at a good amount. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, Hobo just wanted to say thank you for not following trade of uh, Nippon. Like, for the whole game. Doing what nice now? For not funneling yeah, trade you, you, the Nippon node. Yeah, uh, you've been nice the whole game about that. That's so nice. I mean, that's there's not really much that I could take yeah, out of that. Other yeah, than probably not. I could really need a message trade fleet and stuff, I guess, but still. 
Although, speaking of, I should probably see what I can do about my trade nodes. There's a thing that I'm kind of curious about. I had a bunch of nations stop being in the coalition against me and then abruptly rejoin it later. They might have gone into a war. Uh-huh. And then when the war ended, they realized that the coalition was still there and that you were still scary, so they rejoined it. Uh -huh. Yes, my expansion has been halted for a moment because of that. Yeah, and I don't Let's really... get some tea! I mean, if I were you, I'd be improving relations with the big ones in it, like the Mamluk. I, I have. I, I've pushed the big ones up to, like, uh... Actually, I, you're right. Because, yeah, if you could get, like, the Mamluks, Akkoyunlu, Ajam, and such out of there, yeah. the coalition may end up falling apart because they don't have the strength to keep it up. You know, guys, I think I'm going to wait the three years and then declare on Dong Heights off. Um, okay. My my so. army is already reduced to training on the border of Mongolia, so... Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, next tech is a university, which means admin efficiency. That's excellent, excellent. My force limit is 169. That's cool. <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, hang on. Oh. I've got a guy who's been improving relations in Ava for 17,000 days. That seems <laughs> unlikely. Wow. Ooh, HSN plus 0.70 production. For 46 plus years, actually. 69. Okay. Jesus. Okay, yeah, mills are great. Jesus Christ. China wear. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like money. Personally. <laughs> yeah, like, I also like doing the investments because of manufacturers. I'd ra much more rather, like, not wait a million years to get my tech up. I'm finally starting to catch up here. Rush, rush, yeah, 19? 18. It's only one ahead, actually. That's good. I'm torn on whether I should make Chinese Madagascar or just vast or just tributary state the person there. Why aren't you taking Kilwa, by the way? All those gold mines. Are um, so because my uh, mandate was garbage, and then by the time the mandate got good, we were preparing to attack. And then mm. now that attack has sure. happened. Yeah, that makes sense. Stairs in Japanese. Hey, like, it's not, like, I was, like... <laughs> <laughs> I was still the same for a while as I was ready to fly. This didn't happen. Although, in a year, I will be able to have Tech 19 for, uh, Asian Musketeers. I could grab it now, but I'm waiting for it to get cheaper. Yeah, same. I have almost max military power, but I can wait. Like, I don't understand how the hell Portugal is keeping... Okay, it's finally falling back. I've got some crazy events here. I'm like triple... No, wait. At least... I don't know. Uh, one and a half times their, their speed and 7% extra settlers, and I'm still keeping up. It's so annoying. I just want to pass. Oh. It's, ten, it's 10 development. By the way, since we mentioned Portugal and I was looking at their colonial nations... So, yeah. Um, for the idea of the West Indies, East Indies, <laughs> what nation do you think I should make the West Indies off of? Mm -hmm. Or uh, the East Indies off of, rather. Wait. No, it is the West Indies that you form a nation of. Not quite sure what you mean, honestly. What culture should I do it out of? Like, should I do it out of Portuguese, ah. Portugal, Spain, France? Mm. I had the idea of potentially Spanish. playing Spanish. Holland and forming mm. the West Indies out of the Dutch and then taking over the East Indies. 
as the Dutch, which, you know, history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Personally, I can't wait until Malacca and Brunei are that nice green color so you can just see Khmer go straight over the Indonesia. Uh, they're my friends. <laughs> just wait until uh, one of the colonial nations get a permanent claim on them and then they won't be your friends anymore. Mm -hmm. It's a great tragedy, isn't it? Or you're forced to choose between Malacca and, Tib and uh, Tibet as the war for Bengal happens. Uh, yeah, I see. Well, I think my war with them... Like, I don't want to fight Bengal, Delhi, Bahmanis, and Gujarat at the same time. I don't want to fight literally 80% of the surface area of India at once. Sure you do. Mm-mm. I mean, Bamanis is only 55 of 169. <laughs> I actually realized they went full quantity and full offensive, so they have an extra 70%. Merchant's ship break for 500 ducats. How wealthy is that merchant? Who the hell died? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Japanese Rockefeller, apparently. Yeah, what, what the fuck? Alright, Tech 19, I upgrade to War Galleons, which means um, I got the event of Naval Improvements, meaning I'm not actually building a Navy until 44. Because it's 10% increased cost, and I'm not building a heavy ship fleet off of an extra 10% increased cost. But I am making over a hundred ducats a month now, so manufacturers are coming in pretty quick. Hmm. Well, I see that England is continuing to have a lot of fun. Fun. In your opinion, Daft, would you find the uh, English uh, English nobles or the English peasants more annoying? Um, <laughs> probably the nobles from my last game. I didn't have much problem with the peasants. It's... Happy New Year, and Admin Technology 18 is now no longer ahead of time. Ooh. Ooh. I got guns. Go. Fuck you, Portugal! Alright, so he wants a Sarahuma. Sarahu. I don't know. I want to give that to. Bay. Coco? Yes. I'm Cuckoo for Bay Coco. <laughs>
I'm torn on whether I should turn my cattle provinces into money making or if I should turn them into manpower. Because cattle actually ends up being a pretty good resource. Oh, yeah. I just got the Mamluks out of the coalition and everyone is leaving the coalition all at once. Excellent. Yep. Well, that worked well. Okay, one more year before war, before war by the way. Um, you don't you don't want to you wanted to be called in, right? Yeah. Uh, uh no. no. I want you the to... strategy is that okay. part of the piece is you will force Mongolia to break their alliance with Russia. Sure. And then Tibet and Tang will go uh go to Clown Town on Mongolia, as they say. Sure, sure. Uh, Hobo, I'll take like as much as the Girin borders Straight with you as possible from right from Mongolia. So we can get closer to that border thing. Yeah, it'll look, it'll look a little bit weird given, um, yeah, I know, the uh, Liaoning area, but that's that's just China being China. Develop development of veneering, tropical wood. Excellent. My all of the tropical just got uh, I don't know, not too much of it. Oh, we, yeah, we don't have a lot of tropical wood. I think that, that well, that helps Daff a lot. It helps him a lot, <laughs> a lot more if he had Malacca winky face. But uh, there's a lot. Of <laughs> We're trying to set him against Malacca so hard. <laughs> you will be so much stronger if you eat your friend. <laughs> It also helps Tibet a lot, because Tibet has pushed so far into Burma that there's a lot of tropical wood there, too. Yes. Real quick, before month ticks over, I don't know how Mongolia keeps discovering me at the most inopportune times. How much does it cost to break an alliance? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, Diplo? Diplo power? Like, forcing someone to break an alliance? Yes. That would require them to accept. Uh oh. But doesn't it cost uh, Diplo power? No. Like, yeah, and England has a civil war. It's time to tilt the scale. Good job, England. Jaeger oh, for Attack on Titan, respectively, along right with tons for. of other roles. I'll be making some exclusive videos uh, yeah, with them for Unlocked, us. which is a way for you to interact with and get content I don't even know who you are. Oh, there you are. Actors, yeah. So, if you're interested in that, you can sign up for that in the link in the I'm description. Or it's here, on... there, wherever you're watching this. Anyway, peace! Offensive would give me horse artillery. Please! Why are you making but quantity yeah. would give me more Eat development David. and more... No, you're good. Hey, Bryce? And morale good for you. No, you're good. Hey, Bryce? Oh, uh, Daft, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. this is, uh, this is what we are telling you to do. Yeah. It's time to friends. tilt the scales. Uh, Ooh, nice, a David. <laughs> oh, three stars. I'm ready to fight for you. No, you're good. Hey, Bryce? Yeah? Eat, David. What? You hurt me. <laughs> no. Please, why are you making me do this? It will make you stronger. <laughs> it will make you stronger. He's <laughs> so good. I love it. Uh, we, we could just redo that video with little captions. It's like, hobo, big, and angst. It's like, that. <laughs> Eat Malacca. Why are you <laughs> making me do this? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I actually have that one on my, uh, I've got this little soundboard I've made, but one of the lines on it is, it will make you stronger. <laughs> it's right up there with Ignore Me from Yu-Gi-Oh! The Rich series.
Like the favorite thing is in Yu-Gi-Oh is uh, bitched is like um, the guy with Justin Timberlake always playing. What? That, that oh, my, oh, my hair. oh, right, Duke. <laughs> yes, He's, it's always playing sexy back every time he shows up. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so February, yeah, time to uh, get my military up again. Then, a bit late, so, but, yeah. Excellent. Everyone's leaving the coalition against me just in time to go to war. <laughs> I mean, I. <laughs> At long last, you've lowered your guard. No, 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 continue disarming. <laughs> yes. Jesus, Tech 17 is so important, man. This is crazy. 10% open. Oh, there we go. Uh, we want to... Let's get this. Can we my stuff? So, uh, what's everyone's uh, income per month looking like? In terms uh, of my total income so. per month, 46 taxation, yeah. 32 production, 5 trade, 3 gold. What's your uh, income like? I, I seriously love the, sh the shit show that is Tibetan trade notes. It's it's excellent. <laughs> None of them feed into uh, each other. I'm let's take... Uh, this. I will not fight. Let's go. Alright, is it time I... for you to break yeah, that Mongolian alliance and then Hobo and I, like we said, straight to Clown Town. Yes. We're not going to take any things on Jester Boulevard. We're not going to take the, uh, you know, the Mime Expressway. No, we're just going straight to Clown Town. I make... 86 tax, 102 production, 40 trade, and 4 gold. I'm actually, uh, beyond Hobo, I'm actually, uh, I look at the income map, I don't know, like, the specifics. Um, it's uh, Hobo, me, Khmer, Tibet. How is the uh, Khmer money, so that way I can say how much more you would have if you had the uh, Indonesian Peninsula. Khmer is uh, at the uh, 114 a month, like before. Um, so, making profit of 41 gold, um, taxation 45, production 40, uh, 26. Trade is 41. <laughs> uh, harbor fees is 2, thanks to Hobo. Um, I'm paying quite a lot in advisors, minus 33 advisors. Oh yeah, yeah. I, um, I cannot do that. Fleet but, is minus twelve. Colony is minus six. So daft. Our mm -hmm. economies are actually almost identical, except that you have forty more trade income than me, and are putting all of that mm. into your advisors, basically. Uh, well. I've got seven on my <laughs> advisors and five trade income. Yeah. Is is this where I say I'm running three three advi uh, three three advisors? Uh, I mean, I guess you could yes, say it that. Is. Well, here's the thing. In order to actually keep my meritocracy high, I need to. Because <laughs> it lowers by two and only raises up by high-quality advisors. Like, a level three advisor only raises it by 0.75. So... Granted, I did do the first, uh, the first thing, which gives me point five. Oh, Mary France is internal every conflicted. Year. Sorry. Yeah, every, every year. So, uh, I only gain point eight five meritocracy every year, which is my equivalent uh, legitimacy. So you can see why that's important. Mm -hmm. So you guys go north, yeah, definitely. 
rip the era of France. and provide the I think so. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Seeing 76,000 Japan fat stacking on land that doesn't even hit 40, kind of a little bit sad. No. <laughs> My manpower hurts just looking at it. <laughs> so, uh, I don't care. Like, I really Wait, I just don't go on food. Jukjua! You assholes! Well, uh, I guess I have to live in Korea after all, then. That's annoying. Also, Japan, you got to, you were able to lack Donghai on its own. I thought they were allied with like, Russia and. No, Donghai is not. Hmm. It's Mongolia so, that's allied with Russia. Yes. Uh, oh, so, I'm okay, just working okay, yeah. to. Uh, honestly, I'm just going to get as much out of this war as possible at the moment. Um, My traitor! But you also like... Fucking... <laughs> nah, no, one of my... Advisors died. I think you did too. Let's move you back. Let's put it on. Okay, so let's get you guys back here. By the way, um, I think Japan may end up winning the Font War. Mm -hmm. So the benefit yeah. of having a short name, yeah. The that's okay. Way... I'm winning in Stellaris, so that's, that's fine. I'd say I would have a larger way... font that is actually on land because you have like 18 pixels of Japan that are actually on land. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you build houses on most of the area where your uh, where your letters are? And don't say anything about what Central Tibet looks like. <laughs> Mm. 
The only way that I can see a bigger name happening is if that Khmer stretches all the... <laughs> 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 Think about it. Khmer. From Indonesia to Papua. It'd be great. It will make you uh. stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so by, the, so much. by the way, just an update for you. Uh, Spain has permanent claims on uh, the Philippines now, so expect them to oh. try and go after Tondo soonish. My first. the way I'm sort of angling myself is to build up a huge fleet to engage Spain. Um, a couple of my ideas combined will give me um, seventy-five percent extra uh, naval force limit. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking just to spam heavy ships. I'm uh, matching tech for Spain, oh, so I think I should be quite Russia competitive. Russia has sent in Condottiero. Okay. In that case, I think I'm going to try and see if I can clear this. The Emperor has died. Long live the Empress. Congratulations. So if I just a moment, I just wanted to check uh, Mongolia quick here. Mongolia. So I have only ten war score. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, well, you only need to get enough to break their alliance, and then whatever else you want from them, I guess. Now oh, it's a long way. And problem is that Russia has a Condottiero with them now, which is not good. Well, it's it's only going to be like one division. It's not like the the whole Russian army is going to be there. Oh, yet. but but it's still like like the the quality is just so high on mine, so I really have to to. You have Shintoism, sir. Let me yes, know what, but they have uh, the Russians have Tech 19, therefore they have better infantry. Mm. Well, let me see Maybe. if I can uh, if I can offer Condottieri to you. Yeah, that kind of should work. You, you still control them, right? I think so. I just need to, yeah, offer Condottieri and offer my second army. I do have two first armies. Ah, Tang Congo, exactly what I wanted to see on the map. On capital, please fall. Do not spin out the pipes. Russia's dead. Okay, so Russia's just hanging out. That's good. Let's move, guys. Let's move. Oh my god, these rolls. I'm offering you Condottieri. Thank you. Yeah, anything else speeds this up is good. Did you back? Okay, now I've got the uh, capital here actually. Should maybe wait with the country. I don't know. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. North. North, guys. North. Can I beat this? Okay, they're 20,000. Uh, do you want me to send some guys over, or should I just be sieging in this area? Siege, siege. I'll siege out. Okay. Okay, the, 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 okay, let's see here. So if we... Okay. Just going to check this out. I know you're still sieging. Just, uh, I just finished the siege, actually. Score at this point. Excellent. Um, so breaking Russian alliance now works. Take as much as, uh, you, uh, as you want, I guess, uh, with understanding that you've sorted out a border of some sort with the Tang. Yes, I actually think I'm going to um, do like... Yes, I would... Because uh... this is the total I can take. Um, I think I'm actually going to stay in the wall a little bit longer. Yeah, uh, specifically, sure. if I was e e e sieging down, it's very promising. Yeah. Keep in mind, I can only siege one prop thing at once, at once because since I'm condottiering, I can't actually split up my army. 
Okay. But it's a pretty nice army. It's 8,000 uh, infantry, 4,000 cavalry, 9,000 guns. Yeah, I think the the thing to do is just to get the last fort because I only have fucking two, so uh Okay. Um that's good. Yeah. Wait, they're going to uh Oh Russia just cancelled it. Okay. More time. Good. Good, good, good. good. Yeah, Mongolia is just trying to burn down Kamchatka, which doesn't matter. So, um. Why did they cancel the Kamchatka? That's so strange. Don't know quite how stuff like that works. Maybe they don't have money for it anymore? Yeah, Mongolia might not have enough money to pay for them. My Inquisitor! My brand! My brand! I have special eyes. <laughs> it's a valuable thing that both of us know what each other's stupid references are. Mongolia, 66. You just keep burning down, down Kamchatka, that is completely fine. All those fur traders just brutally murdered. Wait. Okay, that's actually a... Did my good general just die? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, I got a very bad one instead. Okay. That's how it is. I find it amusing. Oh my, that's a lot of dudes. I find it amusing that... Uh, Shang Shang is Confucian, but hasn't actually embraced the Mahayana yet. Because that's the culture in their territory. Man, they are just in so much pain. If only there was some way that. If only there was some way death could make himself stronger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm also finishing off. It's really not part of my plan, to be honest. I'm no. looking at finishing off Majapah Heat and then possibly picking a fight with Spain at the opportune moment. This The alliance that Spain is in is kind of scary there. Well, Which fun thing, if you develop your colonial nation to- oh god, yeah, I'm looking at New Zealand, that's gross. Yeah. It does offend me. But Portugal... has 15 heavy ships, Spain has 23. I could potentially, with all my bonuses, might be able to get enough heavy ships to match them, or even overtake them. I mean, in six years, my increased ship cost will go away. Huh. And then, Are you suggesting uh, that we, we might be able to cooperate in uh, removing Europeans from our... Uh, there's, th there's this really nice territory I found um, called the Cape of Good Hope, which uh, uh -huh. seems like it would be a lot better in Chinese hands. Well, it sounds like we might be able to cooperate here. We do have an alliance, after all, don't we? I really uh, should build some boats, just so that I can actually send some people to places occasionally. <laughs> oh, hey, I just noticed you actually have a coastline now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to build a couple of merchantmen on the coast. 
Oops. Alright, lost a enemy. Right. Oops, sorry. Goodbye. Bye, you six shoot good gun. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, no. If you go to buy, yeah, look. I just okay. saw that. Yeah, sixty-eight thousand uh, Mongolians over there. Do you want me to send some guys over to help? Actually, no. I'm actually probably fine. The probably small. Um, I just want this damn second fort to fall. Then I'm probably good, honestly. Mm. Oh, this is very scary. Very spooky indeed. Going off to Urkan. Spooky, oh, wait, scary long. Siberians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please stop falls. Run! Didn't fall. Okay, but 57% now. Oh, by the way, since my uh, thought processes have reminded me to say it. Yes. Hey, Kea. What's up? Um, hey, look, uh, that port is finally sieged. Yes. Um, so it, it seed, seems seed, seed. like... And all Russia. 50, uh -huh. 50, uh, okay. I'm going to do this. I need to fight, uh, finish the war with Don, Dong Hai, but now the war with Russia is cancelled. The alliance with Russia is cancelled? Yes, the alliance with Russia is cancelled. Cool. So let's do like this. Annul all treaties with Russia. And I get a bunch of provinces. Okay. And money. Go. Cool. Yeah. I did it pro probably. Uh, yeah, excellent. Okay. Um, so now I need to get all of my things east. Um, there we go. Okay. So, I'll continue now. Uh, you were and saying, uh, Hobo. I will immediately do this. Uh, are you declaring um, war or am I? On, I just declared the war, I don't know, well... Uh, can, could you yeah, call me in? Yeah, I suppose in, I'm not. By the way? Yeah, please call me in. Or, uh, or I, I, could, I could, I could, I could join a separate war. Let me just beat up these guys first, but, uh, yeah. Um, I could declare I a separate war. Yeah. Uh, it, it but not quite yet. Okay, hang on. If we're talking over each other, let's figure out what we're doing, and then do it. I don't need to call in Japan. It's fine. Yes. I, well, uh, yeah, I, I know. It's just because when I after I call these, depends on the speed, of course. It could be good to for me to uh, to get. No, actually, because that will take in take it take your raw score too. Then don't do it. Don't do it. What we could do is. I was going. To call you in, since the amount of stuff I have claims on is small enough that we could both get chunks of land. Yes. Alright, All right, so you're going to call me in? Are we going to do the trick? There we go. Cool. Uh, I don't think we need to do the separate war trick, especially since that's only really useful if we just want a country ruin, rather than this is just, you know, regular. Ah, uh, fair, fair. Yeah. But also, for Chaos, I was going to say, it seems like even during peak hours, yes. uh, the flood of people that were playing for the new uh, Final Fantasy XIV stuff have all fecked off to other games again. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, the, the lineups aren't too bad anymore. Yeah, I was a even able to jo join during, like, 2 p.m. on a Sunday. You know, after we were done with Flanker, I... Sat back down with lunch and watched my character log out, which was a little bit annoying. And then I was able to log back in. So, yeah. um, random, uh, unrelated question. 
Uh, how does one stop having one of the armies be Condottieri? Uh, diplomatic thing with that. Yeah, country. um, let's see. Ask for military access. Counter espionage. It, it, it should be the same place. Revoke Condottieri. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh my god, that's a lot of Mongolians. Yeah, 60,000. Yeah. Where's your Great Wall, sir? I thought you had a Great Wall. Uh, I didn't build that wonder this time. Ah, uh, shoot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always nice to get those free walls in every one of your cities, though. Yeah, it... it like, I was expanding so much at the time mm. that, uh... By the time I, the wall was done, I would've had cities outside of it anyway, and wouldn't be the yeah, perfect. Yeah, makes sense. So Remember when we played Civilization, and then, you know... Stopped. People were too aggressive in it. <laughs> so just, this is called stopped. playing video games with my good friend Freyri. Oh, him? Yeah. <laughs> I... I just, up, uh... Me, Civ 6 is like, you need to commit to a specific plan at the start of the game, and there's certain ways to win, some ways to lose, and it's it's not very f free flowing, if that makes sense. It's like everyone's just going for like a science build and the late game boom kind of thing, and it's just wasn't very interesting to me. Um, I wanted to kind of explore different it's uh, not quite as good styles about playing of game. game. Field. Yeah, I got. I went with the Scythians, and I built a big horde of horse archers, and I was fighting the barbarians. But because I hadn't invested in science stuff to the same extent as other people at the start of the game, that just meant that I could not be relevant at all in the late game, no matter what I did. And it just seemed a bit kind of yeah. You know, like, I was like, oh, like one so, uh, way, that's one reason I really. Yeah. I really like to play and if you don't play that way, then you're just a potato for the rest of the game. It's, it's, you know, it's like you, you can't come back from being uh, a bit behind in tech uh, in the old game. It's just. Yeah, I don't know. I just. It's very, very kind of gamey, I guess, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it, it, it works a lot more like a board game, a bit less like a simulator. And I think you enjoy yeah. something where you can play sandbox simulator more. Which is something that I think yeah. that this genre of game tends to be better at. Yeah, absolutely. Even though, I mean, you could say that EU4 is quite gamey in some ways. Oh, but well, certainly. I still is. feel like it's, it. It's less, it's, it's, it's less so bad. Is the key. Yeah. It's just more to do a small nation here. That's basically it. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Heir to the throne, mm. 355. Unfortunately, the Mongolians did get Beijing. Um, uh, there's nothing I could do about that. I didn't have a third army up there in time. And I'm going to have to okay. fight the English. What? Uh, I'm almost done with the wall of the east if you want help, by the way. Um, sure. I'm just kind Quite of curious close. where their army is going to go. It looks like it's going back into Mongolia. Winky, winky, over there to the Tibetans. Hey there. Yeah, yeah, I see. Turn Please around. stop Kung Fu monks. Jesus Christ. Okay, almost done with the wall in, in the east here. Uh, then you can call me and I'll wait from the east too. Oh. So, can I take all of you now? Oops. I can't. There will be a one province minor, that's fine. Ooh, yeah. Literally unplayable. Go. Bodega is launch. Uh, call me in. I'm coming. Uh, I... Can I? I think so. 
No, kind of... because you have a truce with Mongolia. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. Okay, then. Then I'll be, uh, piecing out, piecing a bit. Cody on set boxes to sort of take you up there. Apparently, I can upgrade to become an empire now. Nice. nice. Should I do that? I, how does a republican empire work? Uh, a a uh, republican empire. That. Empire is just literally the administrative size of your thing. Basically. Yeah, oh, okay. it, it's. I don't think there's any downside to it, really. Honestly. Yeah, it just Ooh. means uh, you automatically embrace everything in your culture group. So if you yeah, uh, all, it says all Southeast Asian cultures are now accepted in our role. Yep. That's great. Uh, cool. Alright, Beijing is taken back, so I am going to start actually besieging. Well, I just caught the Mongols in the very bad army with some tactical use of force march. Which is, of course, the only way to actually force march is tactically. It's not like there's non-tactical force marching. Oh, wow. That was, uh... That was quite good, wasn't it? Okay, so how fast do we do this? 58, so 18 years. Actually quite good, because then we can hopefully call this ship. Alright, I can... Uh, okay, so, subjects. Beikoku, Grand Province, Tobasco. Grand Province, Yokome. Okay. Enjoy. How's it going up there? It's going well. Uh, going forward. Cork bottle stoppers? That doesn't matter for us at all. I'll stop my bottle and call me a cork. Uh, do you guys want to call me in? I could send about 25k out of the bottle. We now know, I heard that the uh... I think we're we're about to get this. Like I'm just annihilating uh the enemy army. Oh nice. And the Russians just show up just in time to get spanked at the end. Oh, they got another comes of Shuri? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they sent nice. them in. I only lost seven thousand men in an army that killed forty nine thousand from the enemy. Wow. Oh my god, National Bank, apps, oh go, okay! Thank you for 16,000 ducats and a lot of other stuff. Okay, let's get some manufacturing. Yeah, National Bank is pretty good. Ah, that, was, that, was, uh, that was nice, thank you. Thank you, game. For once. Uh, thank you, game, for once. It's been quite angry at me sometimes. Are you guys dividing this? I get. I guess that Hobo gets. Uh, I think wait, I'm getting uh, Kabdo and Uliasai, and he's getting Gobi in Outer Mongolia and all that stuff. Yeah. Could, could you seed Gobi right. over to me? Yeah. Uh, oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll do that. Wait, Asha, do you dare to insult me? 
I just beat up the Mongols. I will send you an insult back. I have the death sentence in five systems. <laughs> oh, where's that from again? It's not Star Wars. Oh, uh, that's that is Star yeah, Wars. Sure. That's what the weird yeah. guy says in the bar. Oh, is that before he gets shot by? Oh, yeah, before he gets his arm uh, chopped off. Like oh, well, that guy. I'll get. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Ah, it's Navajo, so I don't even... Mm. Okay. Okay, okay. Meanwhile, I'm trying to develop my land to even out uh, the development so I can get more buildings before uh, I tick off my <laughs> merchant guilds again. All right. Okay, transferring territories that are in your region. Pulling a person back, so I should be able to look at what we can do. There you go. I've transferred holdings. Uh, we could also do, like, separate pieces if you want. Like, I could see if I could, uh, piece out with Mongolia. Eh. But how did I get- how did I get Varyana provinces? Where is that even? Oh, there? Wait, well, isn't Varyana? No, it isn't. Yeah, there's a lot of Varyana in, uh... In Mongolia. This Buddhist, right? Oh. Oh, I, I just Buddhist. Yeah, okay. Sure. It is a type of Buddhist, yes. Yeah. I'm about to smash up the Mongol army. I will become the what I should I will never keep up with the Japan and tea, right? Uh uh Nick Tang. Um Yeah, it's gonna be tough. That's too bad. Jesus Christ there's a lot of tea. Ah, okay. I think this looks good. We're giving uh, Mongolia a nice big hug. Are you ready for this? Uh, what? So are we going to, first of all, are we going to get the stuff in these areas that cuts them off effectively? Uh, we could try and cut them off entirely. Okay. Mostly. Some of the stuff on the right side is uh, still largely Japanese holding, future okay. holding. So. Just check that these are going the right people, they are... Yeah, so I'm getting stuff in Kabdu, Uliasai, and Tanuk Oriankai. Ideally, we cut them off from uh, from Russia, but also, if we can just grab the ones that I have claims on, they'll be cheaper, of course. Of course, they did start a battle right as I'm going... Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, campaign. sorry, just uh, let's let, let, let's win this battle first. Doesn't... well, I guess we're getting reinforcements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're good. They caught my force that didn't have a three-star general on it. There we go, battle's done. Alright, now there's no oh. battles happening. 
Like I said, give them a nice big hug. Oh That's a big old Mongol hug right there. <laughs> it looks awful. Alright, so it looks awful. It's just and it works. to me to wait out the truce, which is in a lot of yes. Alright. For reference, um I know that there's some of the human node on the right side over there, Angst. The human node is already split between me and Chaos, yep. so it doesn't really matter too much. So, um... Oh, it's actually the whole province. It actually might look better. Honestly, up to you. If you don't mind, then probably better. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so that's, that looks... that's specifically why you did exactly that, I presume. Yeah. Because yeah. it looks better like that. Yeah. Rather than uh, me taking the uh, Zillin Gold province and then having a bit of your land jutting in. Yeah. I'm completely fine with that. I mean, of course I am, but, you know. Uh, Plus, it is just a bunch of livestock, which I mean, I guess would be nice for my force limit, but I don't think I need, the, <laughs> I need extra force limit as much as you do. I don't know. Um... Yeah, uh, my problem is currently is one forty three, which is okay. Um it's not good no. I just hope that Russia doesn't like all of them. Don't have still a like with them though. That's good. Now for me to slowly start tearing privileges away, as uh, I'm actually raising my absolutism. I also realized a very humorous thing. I share a border with both England and France. Technically, uh. this means because I share a border with them, I can declare a uh, enforced tributary state on both of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that uh, would be it's, amazing. It's that YouTube video that uh, Chaos posted. That's how it ends. <laughs> China just shows up as Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> well, when that came out, if I recall correctly, that's probably around the era of Mandate of Heaven, where ch where there wasn't a negative a thousand for tributarying people who weren't your neighbors. So they oh. would just tributary people that were bordering tri tributaries they already had. So they would tributary all the way over to like Afghanistan and so. I actually remember that um yeah that was crazy by the way uh you can see that I'm slowly building the little Tibetan transport fleet I'm going to not build any warships I'm just going to build transports so that I can bring my people to help fight wars <laughs> What's your force limit in naval, by the way? 16. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Nothing oh, impressive, I assure you. Um, let's get some more China wear. That would be a fun achievement that I need to do at some point. That would be awful, but be fun. Speak. Uh, there's an achievement to take all of the Chinaware provinces of Saxony. What? <laughs> yeah, because of Meissner Porcelain, or however you're pr supposed to pronounce it. Ah. Oh, Digga should have hates me now. I should probably... 
Hey, Otega, what's up? Here's a royal marriage. Well, it not hates me, but it should be a little bit of Tarrant Warlord. A lion. I mean, nothing but nice to you, you asshole. Alliance offer from England. I ha I, I guess France is rival. Oh, Do it. Here, I rival them. <laughs> Do it. Uh, for the content. That's that's um uh, oh. yeah. Look, I know how allying England ends. It ends with the Opium Wars. <laughs> <laughs> That's you as let dark one? as the opium den that my uncle disappeared off into. <laughs> you, you let one European trader into China, and Next then suddenly all your people are high. <laughs> the jokes that we can make here that we cannot make in uh, Flankers. Yeah, I think that's a joke we can make in flank history. I can also say pooby pooby head. I can say that. <gasps> well, there we go. Now I can upload this onto YouTube. You yeah, can't just say pooby pooby, pooby head. So <laughs> long. Interesting fact for you. We will determine whether uh, it's interesting or not. Yes? <laughs> I'm in the subcontinent of China. Uh-huh. Yeah. The land I took from Mongolia is in the sub subcontinent of Tatar. Yeah, you can make it. Yeah, trade company. So I, so I can technically make it a trade company. Yeah. Oh, I got the new tire of uh, trading, trading star. Alright. Oh, I don't. Wait, wh why, why is this display like that? I don't know. Man, having five diplomats feels good. In your this large of a nation, at least. Yeah, I um, I usually don't like really care about the, I don't micro diplo enough to make it that useful for me. Um, well, I keep improving relations with you three to you know don't oops, not have it break wrong. like it kept doing with Tibet. Yeah. Plus, I got a uh, ease tension event. So if I get enough with uh, you guys, I'll be able to do my trustworthy allies thing. Nice. Be nice. Oh, that reminds me. I should actually expand my fleet so I can get some stuff done here. Um, because the next level is merchant man, so let's uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's get some more traders. I need to. <laughs> It's it's really dumb. I didn't get the mine win before. I just didn't have have money for it. Navy size ninety percent of the force limits. I need to build one hundred ships or something. <laughs> yeah. But to be fair, like getting a big ass trade feed is probably a good call, anyways. So. All right. I'm just waiting to finish coring all of the stuff I took from Mongolia before I declare war on the oil rats. Because uh, the oil rats still have cores on all of those Mongolian territories, and that would halt my uh, my core.
I've decided that cows are going to be a trade resource instead of a manpower resource. Oh. Wait at the moment. Ah, okay. Let's start actually coring stuff. Like. Someone's at local autonomy down. Oh, mind your heat. What are you in China where? What? Oh, you, you got him. Nice. Nice death. Yeah, it took okay, a couple of Indonesia. Uh, nice, nice little bow. <laughs> I, uh, I don't like to boast, but I have the biggest uh, fleet of battery ships in the world now. Oh, that's I'm nice. Joking. You love so. boasting. It's actually, it's actually <laughs> cool because uh, I think Khmer was actually quite a big naval state historically, right? I was thought that I they were so. kind of a land state. I didn't know if they were... Uh, uh, like they had the land ships and stuff. They had the like, lands. I always assumed that they were mostly in inland power since their capital wasn't on the coast. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they definitely had a navy, but I think it was like galleys for going mostly around the coast and the rivers. Um, and they were fighting, obviously. It's a, the local powers in the Indochina. Um, I don't think they ever had a sort of ocean going navy. It was a galleys, and I think it was like. Yeah. Now, for happiness sake, I want to embrace Mongolian as a culture, so you know the land that I've conquered is happier. But as Chi as Chinese, I don't really want to embrace Mongolian. <laughs> Filthy barbarians, right? Running down your shitty wall. Right, let's get some trash up, guys. This is my, in this is my income, just balloon or something? No, just send him all. I don't know what happened. Okay, I'm all 20 hide behind Russia now. Excellent. Looks like I want to get Diplomatic Tech 19 before going to War with Spain. So that looks quite significant. War yeah, Galleon frigates, good. dry dock. Oh, you can you can kind of take them. 19, yeah. Okay. 60k troops. They have 100. Oh god. It's going to take me a while because I'm spending all my diplomatic power on uh, ideas. Mm. Mm. Well, I've almost finished my offensive ideas. We'll be done next year. Nice. Yeah, those Tibetan monks are very offensive. <laughs> Have you ever seen us? We can fly, man. It's a thing. But they fly now. <laughs> <laughs> Need to make sure to say that in as unexcited of a, as a voice as possible. Uh, you can't you can't accidentally make people think that you're enthusiastic. 
Especially for, uh, especially for modern Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping it gets decanonized at some point. And well, this is it, it's the thing where we got to decide. Actually, we now decide what is real and what isn't. You get mm. to make it up. You get, oh, you get to pick whatever you feel like. I can confirm that isn't actually real to me, and it's just a uh, very, very massive fan fiction done by a board of directors. Yeah. Yes. Or you're at separatists from Mongolian land. It's disgusting. Okay, so I think that Portuguese, Mexico is blocking. Yeah, there. Okay. Completely blocked me up. It's kind of like, oh my god, they're kind of breaking, maybe? Just a. Uh, the daft appears to be doing everything in his power to avoid colonizing the Philippines. And I suppose I can admire the gumption. Um, well, I mean, I've had plenty of places to colonize in Indonesia and Australia and New Zealand, so... I uh, haven't really wanted to tangle with the, uh, the Philippine area. Tondo looks like it will not be a pushover. But now we have Tibetan boats that will take the Tibetan troops over <laughs> to contribute. Well, I'm I'm honestly in favor of leaving Pondo there. Um, the Spanish are not. The Spanish are not in favor of that. That's the key. Problem. Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing. Like, it's 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 okay. Like, honestly, if you don't, if you're not taking it, like, then I definitely am. It's so good, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I, I would say that Jap that Japan would take it if you don't, simply because Spain has a permanent claim on the Philippines, meaning even if we kick Spain out of Indonesia, they'll still come over here and fight Tondo. Yeah, well, I mean, let me clarify. So I'm thinking, let Spain fight Tondo, and then we fight Spain afterwards. So it's ah, fight. yeah, so that, so that, that way be. they uh, increase the autonomy over there when they take it, so that way it's not useful for us for, for the next hundred years. Because uh, okay. if the what the AI does instead of fighting rebels, they always increase autonomy. Mm -hmm. So the land would just be hot garbage if it was taken by another AI first. Can you take on Spain? Uh, Daft. Like, um, I, individually, I have a bigger fleet than them, and I have pretty good naval tradition. But I am a naval tech behind them now, and that's worrying because it's an upgrade to the, the ship types. So, um, I'm kind of stockpiling money at the moment and uh, diplomatic power, and trying to get an upgrade. It's going to be very expensive to upgrade the fleet that I just built. I guess that's the way it goes. I'm working on it. I just need uh, to build two more cow mini factories. Mm. Um, just a heads up. Yeah. I am going to need to go to bed pretty soon because it's gone two o'clock in the morning here. All right. And, uh, yeah. Finish. Uh, I'm good to finish up whenever uh, whenever you want. Yeah, I I, I don't have a lot going on, so um, yeah, I'm I'm good to finish whenever you guys are. Russia is now out of the troops with Mongolia. They share one Should border with them. That's annoying. Shall we say like another 15 minutes and then we'll yeah, that works. Yeah, sure. stop it there? Alright. I think we should. Uh, we should wait till next session before starting anything with Spain. I think it's going to yeah. take out long anyway to get all our stuff together. Uh, shifts are the same. 
uh, globally, right? Asking. Uh, yes. yes. That's quite good, though. Um, Angst, do you have anything to gain from fighting Portugal and Spain? I wonder if Portugal, you can uh, yeah, Portugal is Mexico maybe, but there's no way I can no. beat them. Honestly, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, it's as they say, it's not happening. Well, Mexico itself is uh, is quite shitty. Um, Portugal has only 33k, but yeah, like the problem is that. Like I'd really like to help. I really, really like to help. Um, getting Mexico would be excellent. Um, it's just like I, I really just don't think I can. I don't think I'm able to. It's uh, well, it's, uh, it's too much stuff. My, my navy is also awful. Um, but well, I think like between me and Hobo, we'll be able to control the Pacific. Far for you, I would imagine. Um, I, me on my own, according to the ledger, I have more ships now, more heavy ships than Spain and Portugal combined. Jesus. So if I can get if I can get those upgraded to Tech 19, uh, War Galley, I think those should be quite competitive. Yeah, it might be quite fine. Uh, and I can actually build a, a, a load more as well. Um, I don't really want to do it now because I just need to upgrade them anyway. I wonder how good it would go. Like, I just like there will be a land war in uh, in America, and I'm not sure I can handle it. Um, but like, it doesn't really matter. Like, if you can pressure out whatever you need to. Like, I also like, I generally just want Spain to get out. Like, stop fucking over Australia. It's it, it looks like shit, and it's all annoying. Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, so um, so I'm definitely up for it. Like, you also got to get Spain out of uh, the the East Indies and stuff. My motivations are purely aesthetic. I hope it actually um, actually are very aesthetic motivations here. Are, but, are you um, are you interested in the war, Hobo? Because I think you said that you'd like to take South Africa from Portugal and Spain. Yeah. So uh, yeah, cool. Clipper there should be fine. Indian Ocean need... Islands away from them as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, basically, my army would be quite stretched. I would. Basically, needs to. Um, well, you could have your army to... focus in Mexico. Yeah, that would be basically what I would have to do. There, yeah. colonial nations to protect your own. Yeah. You took build some transports there. Yeah. Plus, one of the very, very few benefits of uh, the default focus tree. Is uh, the build manufactories your default? Yeah, focus tree. Default missions is the build manufactories, which, depending on the size of your economy, gives you a fat stack of money. Um, mine is, if I click on it right now, I would get forty-five hundred dollars, which is nice. not small. Um, sorry, what's that, Hobo? From it's building manufactories. Mission in the default focus tree. Oh, right, default okay. mission tree. I'm now on eighty percent of annexing Udege, which is good. It takes forever. So, so Ramos is not in there. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, sure. Wait, but my Coco just took that? You idiot. Ah, that's I'm proud, but I'm also disappointed. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like, let's talk about it between sessions. But um, if you, like, honestly, left, if, uh, did you, you, did you not want the Philippines? Like, I'm, I'm just uh, um, asking straight I mean, up. I'd be happy to take it, but I... I... Probably busy with colonizing if, if you other stuff. Because... I've yeah, so it's like it's taking all my colonists to do Australia, New Zealand, even with Spain mm. taking off of those. Um, still got room to expand in Indonesia, so I, I just haven't got around to it, and I don't really see the point in finding Tondo if uh, mm. functioning as a block against you know Spain casually coming in. And yeah, I wouldn't. Anything, so. I wouldn't mind at all getting it, um, but. 
I'm not going to get to it this session anyway. So let uh, I think let's think about it, so to say, because we, we could I don't want to. It. I don't. I mean, we could do that too, actually. Oh, well, I guess yeah. there is a one trade zone, so maybe that wouldn't be. That's not like okay. So basically, it feeds it feeds into uh, the um, the Pacific, which is good for me, you know. But um, but honestly, like, yeah. Oh no, um, I'm going to get more land. Right? It's like, sure. <laughs> um, stop that. Uh, what do I need to do here? All right, that's true. Um, uh, hang on a sec, just let me pause for a moment and make this piece deal. Clear off her. I'm actually soon get an army that's larger than Spain. I could get an army right now that's larger than Spain. I just, Build yeah, me an army so worthy of Spain. So many But like, it's, it's still million. awful compared to them, but... You know. hmm. But yeah, like, I need to get some transports out. Uh, so I can... Yeah, so... Yeah, let's let's do that next session then. Um, I, I do want, like, to block off Mongolia from Russia, but it takes forever, so we can do that anyways. Um, yeah, we can finish off Mongolia in another war. Because mm. since they're split between, you know, you and me and Tibet, that's two wars. And that would uh, wipe them off entirely. Yeah. Actually, let's see here. Armies. So, next. Force limits. Uh, Beikuku is at 17. And uh, Portugal's Mexico is at 32. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is like they're kind of on fire right now, but yeah, that is not uh, what I was thinking. Yeah, well, I'm just waiting for a few uh, manufactories. Like, this manufactory would be finished in 60 days, and uh, once that is done, I would. Uh, have my economy be larger, so I just get a little bit of extra money from doing that mission, mm. pretty much. Since it factors off of what your total economy is when you do it. And um, with that, I'm going to start building a fleet. Even though at manufactories, the institution pops up in four years. I have a large enough economy that I think I'd be able to embrace it recently. I think I have a bunch of manufacturers at this point. Let's see. What's also, how's it looking? Ah, it's not it's actually not excellent, but it's not it's not too bad. There we go. Yes, we're just about to finish up here too. I'm I'm getting transports out now, um, so I can actually. Use my navy, or like my army in America. Um, so I guess it's just gonna to, going to be big, big, spooky war for me. In um, and I hope I don't just go. To, I don't know how like the army quality and stuff. I just hope I don't get stacked by and stuff. I should just stop um, rivaling me. Interesting. To rival me instead. <laughs> I see. Man, are you gonna have fun converting all of that land you get from Udeshi? <laughs> oh! Would you look at that? Spain kicked me off as top... Uh... What? 
What the f how the hell did they do that? Hmm. I actually don't know. Well, now we definitely have to size spin. All right, mission is now 4,600 monies. Colony. They're murdering the natives. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Miss Caldero? That's weird. Just like to point until I get uh, Diplotech 19, which will be February next year. Dutch Mexico. Okay. How the hell did that happen? Why do they? I don't care. So they're both everyone. Uh, what if we just get Bicoco? Can you fight them? Pet wall or Astro? Oh well. West Dutch. Ah, down there. Okay. That's interesting. Hey, uh, I have the tech. Just let me see how much it's going to cost to upgrade my heavy ships. Uh, ooh. 2,760. Fortunately, I do actually have that much gold, but... Would this, um, would this be a good place to pause, guys? I don't want to make this uh, decision while I'm half asleep yes. and... Uh... Yeah, like, we sh uh... But like honestly, I'm not ready to, ready to fighting anyways. It's um, um, yeah. I'm just wondering if I should upgrade my ships now or not. I'll, uh, ah, sure, sure. I can decide next time. Maybe I'll want to wait a bit and do something else with the money. I don't know. Mm. 
Yeah, well, All right, well, then. should we pause, pause here? Let's do that. 83%. I started annexing at the start of the session, and soon all of that beautiful green will be beautiful red. In 10 years. It's like, it's like <clears throat> Udegi. Yeah. I, uh, I deploy an extra remnant of a Utea. So I now have a land border with Malacca and. No relations are holding. Alright, well, I will, I will take a save and then I will get to bed. Yes. Yeah, good game. Game, thank you guys. I think that was quite productive. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this showdown with European powers next time. Uh, Russia's allied with France. Hmm. Ugh. Yeah. Well, that actually, that actually might happen. Like, if we if we go for uh, like that, that's fine. I I think we need some excitement. I think we need to do something about the Europeans. Um, and I definitely want to gamble to get some Mexico. Um. It looks like Portuguese so, uh, Mexico's got some issues right now. I'm seeing. Yeah, they kind of suck. <laughs> oh, <it's gonna> suck. <laughs> um. Which is good. It's really good. Uh, and by Coco is smaller and kind of shit force limit compared to them, but it's much more mm. stable and quite wealthy. And do an offensive wars actually. They've been really good. All right. Well, good night, guys. I'm rolling to get to bed now. Yes. I'll see. You, see you next time. See ya. Good night. <laughs>